an individual just feeling threatened. On Monday, the Bureau of Reclamation in Sacramento, California, released water from the Trinity and Claymath Rivers in response to protests from community and tribal members in the area. Now, the tribes have argued that the Lewiston Dam was containing water that could save local fish populations who are facing death in low and warm water conditions. On August 19th, around 200 representatives from the Yurok, Hoopa Valley, Winneman, Wintu, and Karuk tribes gathered at the Boer offices demanding action. Following the protests, the Boer offices announced the changes and began to release the water on Saturday, August 23rd. The water will run continuously until September 14th. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Visit them at one of their two locations in Austin, Texas, 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande near the UT campus. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, August 27th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. The new Netflix gas lets users instantly inhale multiple seasons of TV shows. An area man is worried the nation's health care debate might be getting political, and a bullied eighth grader incorrectly thought classmates would leave him alone during a field trip to the 9-11 memorial. Don't mistake my kind, gentle tone for one of love or support. This is The Onion Week in Review. According to a report released this Tuesday, no one, absolutely no one, will ever stack up to your eighth grade boyfriend, Brian Bowden, who you dated for six weeks in middle school. A 43-page study from Stanford University confirmed that no other guy in your life will ever be as kind or caring as the 13-year-old who held your hand during the scary parts of Jurassic Park, who had that really cool chain wallet, and who bought you two pink carnations on Valentine's Day. The report added that while your current boyfriend does have a lot going for him, he will certainly never cut class with you to listen to the dead Kennedy's Frankenchrist on a Sony Discman. Brian used to do that with you. He used to do it all the time. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. Just dial toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you here tonight in the studio, it's Ian here. Cantwell. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us via regular phone at 855-450-FREE, thanks to ProXPN, and also via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request first. And then it will be approved, making it easy for you to call us on Skype from that point forward. There's, of course, a lot to discuss. Your calls certainly are welcome about anything. But coming up, a satanic black mass has gotten the green light from Oklahoma City. We'll find out more about what's happening with that. Plus, the Foley murder video, which we were talking about last week on Free Talk Live, James Foley the American photographer uh, th that was apparently held in captivity for a couple of years is allegedly dead, but the video that was supposedly of his killing may have been staged, at least according to a uh, forensic scientist that analyzed uh, the video. Plus, there's some bad news out of Chile with Galt's Gulch, as it has been called. Of course, uh, many people, as we've discussed here on Free Talk Live, have moved to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, or in Cam uh, Chris Cantwell's uh, portion, not as part of the Free State Project. Just people moving because they love liberty. Well, he moving moved because of the Free State Project. Initially, but not the last time. The last I time moved for freedom, and the Free State Project happened to be some people who were talking about it here. And uh, after I came here, then I wasn't such a big fan of the organization, but I still love New Hampshire, and yeah. I'm surrounded by wonderful people. And he had moved back here after uh, the whole Free State Project controversy with Cantwell, which we will not rehash. Uh, but nonetheless, he's now here, and you could be here too. Lots of people who love the ideas of freedom are moving to New Hampshire because this is where liberty activists are gathering, and this is where liberty activists are having an impact uh, where we're making national and international headlines doing a variety of things. So there's a really exciting movement to be part of here. In fact, Chris, you and I were out doing some cop block stuff last weekend. 
And I suspect we might uh, rehash that this coming weekend here and, uh, and do some more outreach to some of the local college students. There's always stuff happening in not just in Keene, but all across New Hampshire. I understand there's more. Uh, there's another DUI checkpoint coming up in Manchester. So there's lots of kind of in the streets things that you can do. And then there's the political system here as well is, uh, is amazing. I'm, I'm actually thrown I've thrown my hat in for governor. I was interviewed by the local newspaper briefly on the phone for that purpose this week. The uh, yeah, I have no chance of winning, but nonetheless, I get media interviews out of it, and that means I can talk about the ideas of New Hampshire declaring independence and seceding from the United States and ending the insane war on drugs or whatever other issues I, I really want to discuss and want people to see talked about. So there's huge levels of political uh, potential here. It only cost me 100 bucks to throw in for the governor's race. I don't know what it that costs. That just cracks me up. So in your state. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the requirements are where you live, but... To uh, run for governor in New York yeah. is like the craziest production. Yeah. <laughs> so $100 is just so funny. <laughs> I've definitely made it back in media. I mean, I haven't even gotten a lot of media coverage yet, but I've gotten a couple of interviews out of it, and you know, I spoke in front of the Republican debate because the, <laughs> the governor, the real governor, the current one, the incumbent, Mag- Maggie Hassan's her name she uh did not accept the invitation to the debate that was given out by franklin pierce school or why college. would she well i don't know why she would she didn't <laughs> she was and d- uh, debate a homeless man and so drunk it, on the street i mean you know, it, makes it helped me because i got to actually appear in front of the republican debate and speak for up to 10 minutes so i just got to talk about whatever i wanted to to an audience and you know whoever watched it at home and on the internet and whoever watched it on YouTube. So again, a hundred bucks, lots of great exposure for a hundred dollars. Um, so again, what do you get in your state? Well, a lot of people are frustrated with their lack of freedom where they live and they don't really know what the best thing to do is. I mean, it's, it's obviously convenient to stay where you are. Uh, you know, you probably have a job, you may have a career, you may have a family and there's, you know, a house, a business that you own, whatever there are things keeping you or appearing to keep you where you are. But there are all these projects out there that are beckoning. If you love freedom... Move here, move here. Right, the Move Here projects. Uh, In fact, there's a Facebook page that catalogs um, as many of the Move Here projects as Mark can find uh, called The Move Here Project. (laughs) And uh, and so they're kind of... They seem to be iterations to some extent of the idea of the Free State Project, which in itself was not an original concept. There were ideas prior to the Free State Project of, hey, we're all freedom people. Let's go here. Let's go to this island. Well, it turned out some guy came on a gunboat and, you know, it was the King of Tonga or something sent a gunboat right. out. I think and, this was the Minerva Project, and yeah. it happened in the 70s, and it was a fascinating idea. What They and they didn't actually go to an island. They went to, uh, you know, a, a reef that was below the water. Mm. And then they were pumping. They were using pumping boats to pump sea. Now, this is outside of the realm of any country no country claims this and they're taking sand and they're pumping it onto this reef and they're going to make an An island island. and on this island they're then going to build the libertarian paradise i didn't even know that detail about that that's interesting then four nations i know australia and tonga it might have been indonesia and and new guinea i'm not 100 percent sure sort of got together and like what are we going to do about this new nation that is being built on our borders and it was decided that uh, hey tonga you're closest or whatever um you know take out a gunboat and go scare them away and they did they basically went out there with a – and when you're just talking about some construction workers, it doesn't matter whether you've got, uh, you know, a, a cruiser, a battleship, a um, or, or some tiny little PT boat with a with a mounted 50 cal. You're just – you're going to be just as dead. You're as dead as the people that got an A-bomb yeah, dropped so on them. so that didn't work out. And so, again, the Free State Project, not an original idea, but it's the one that stuck because of the Internet. Its uh, genesis was in 2001. Since then, people have been signing up. There are over 15,000 who've signed up. Um, So there's a lot of success with the Free State Project, and a lot of people have moved. Over 1,600 are here now in New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, and again, thousands more are coming. So it's natural that people would see that and say they want to imitate it. They but they'd rather have it happen in their state. So there's been a lot of like free Detroit, free Montana, or well, not Montana. Was Montana's uh, one? Wyoming. There's there a Montana one? Yeah, there was I- one. Thank you, Mark. You're the expert on on these things. <laughs> Uh, the Free Wyoming thing, the Free State Wyoming, etc. So just you know, well, some Free State had- Wyoming had a, I, I felt like a more legitimate claim. Um, People, well, they, Wyoming was the second most popular state in the vote of the Free State it's Project. It's a spinoff of the Free State Project, and yeah. people really wanted Wyoming. A lot of people really the, dig the West The Western thing. thing. Yeah. And 
you know, Wyoming has half the population of New Hampshire, and there's some benefits to Wyoming. But I think that the benefits to New I mean, Hampshire less the po- less than half, slightly less yeah. than half, but not much less than half. Um, but there's some there's some benefits to Wyoming, and the population is is chief among them. Chris Cantwell, why are you in New Hampshire instead of Wyoming? Did you look at it? Uh, some people had tried to encourage me to go to Wyoming when I first left New Hampshire. Uh, and especially when all the news broke about me getting expelled from the FSP, a bunch of people tried to get me to go out there. But, you know, I I did not see um, – look, I'm all for uh, getting up and starting something. That's that's great. That's wonderful. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to – why reinvent the wheel? You know, it just seemed to me like there was more going on here. Uh, right. What, do you, I, what I like, happens I like, there? I like – one of the things I heard about Wyoming is that they have, like, constitutional carry, that, like, it's just hmm. – there's no um, – there, there's no permit, that there's no, you know, conceal, open, whatever you want to do. There's just, like, no laws regarding weapons there, and I do have to have a, a permit to conceal here in New Hampshire, and that, you know, I For don't now, like that. For now, that could change. That could change know. in the future. <clears throat> it could. With enough activists here, that, that is definitely something that could easily yeah, change. Yeah, I mean, they've repealed, you know, a number of laws. Like, I, I one of the things that cracks me up just go through the new hampshire uh, revised statutes annotated the rsa here mm-hmm. is like you go and you click on something and it's like this entire section of law and it just says repealed <laughs> like, you know it's so it's funny so that funny. reminds me of a story today uh we went out to breakfast some of the local activists went out to breakfast and there's a guy who lives in alstead which is a town kind of north here north of here doesn't matter anyway they were having one of their select board or selectman meetings where it's like three people and uh, or three people on the board. I don't know how many people were attending the meeting, but they were talking about some sort of parking on grass near a church, some city land or town land. And there was a concern from one of the selectmen that you know the this is bad for the grass, and that we need to put some signs up. And the the other two selectmen said, "Whoa, we don't want to overregulate." And so <laughs> you know basically it didn't pass the proposal to just put a no parking sign up. Uh, didn't pass, and at the same time, that was hours after I'd seen a picture, which people swear is real, from California, with like seven signs just stacked one on top of another on a big <laughs> pole about where you can park and where you can't. It was crazy. More coming up on Free Talk Live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation, easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll-free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. 
They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Why does a U.S. orthodontist make more than some CEOs? You get that dental bill and you'll know. Implants, partial or full bridge, the kids need braces, fractions of U.S. prices. Balloon angioplasty for heart patients in the U.S. is $50,000. Thailand, under $7,000. Heart bypass, joint and hip replacement, cancer, many procedures under the price of your Obamacare deductible and copay. Don't risk bankruptcy. Hit us up now. We'll show you how at asiarunlikehellguide.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves here, toll-free, 855-450-FREE. We're talking about, or we're going to be discussing, the Galtz Gulch Chile project, but we're just prefacing it with a larger discussion about the Free State Project and the other competing projects, the ones that are trying to sort of ape what the Free State Project is doing, because whenever you've got a successful entrant in the marketplace, it's inevitable that other people are going to come up with competition and uh, in the case of a lot of them, it's not much competition at all. Apparently, the Free Detroit project has, uh, has fizzled, from what I understand. There's somebody who apparently uh, Michael Dean was talking to from the Fr- Freedom Fiends who confirmed that no one is moving for Free Detroit. Uh, so a lot of these things just fizzle before they even get started. They just, they're nothing more than a Facebook group or whatever. But some actually have people investing money and planning moves and actually moving and in the case of Galt's Gulch, there was apparently some money on the line, and maybe there's a scam going on. We'll give you some more information about that coming up. Well, I'm headed over on sept- September the 8th. Well, I'll be leaving on September the 7th, but uh, to the Marijuana Investment Conference. It's uh, You can go find out about it at MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. It's the first annual event. It's in Houston on September the 8th. There's going to be people there pitching their businesses investors there listening to pitches of course there's going to be the you know the sort of the deals done that are sort of the casual ones where people are talking and of course there'll be the the regular formalized pitch and i think that this is a wide open marketplace and that you, we can expect people to make a great deal of money in the recreational marijuana business and I'm interested. I want to. I want to hear what these uh, folks have to say. It's going to be bona fide investors and entrepreneurs. There, it's at the Weston Houston Memorial City, September the eighth, bright and early. Register now. It's uh, marijuanainvestmentconferences.com. I will be there. And use coupon code FTL. If you do, I'll have some uh, FTL swag to give away and some uh, exciting stuff. And, well, you know, it's exciting if you like it. And it'll be some it'll be some fun. So marijuanainvestmentconferences.com. If you do use coupon code FTL, please let me know. I'll, I'll, I want to be able to look, up, look you up when we get there. So it's marijuanainvestmentconferences.com, coupon code FTL. So there are a number of these alternatives to the Free State Project out there, and and some of them are, you know, more unique than others. Some of them are more successful than others. None a lot of, them... of people have told me I should move to Somalia. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I get that one, too. Uh, but you were talking, That's... actually, Chris, about uh, the idea of the Free State Wyoming, which is probably one of the more long-running competitors to the Free State Project. Like, they still have a website that exists. It doesn't appear to have been updated last time I went to it in any recent period of time. Uh, but it's there. And there are people there as well. 
I like the uh, the move, at least the move here projects, and I'm I'm fine with the idea of there being more than one of them. Obviously, that's just the way things are going to be. I well, think obvi- I think that people should be encouraged to move to New Hampshire, which is by far and away the, the most successful of and, them. And I don't think that your statement is uh, subjective. I think it is objectively yes. the most uh, successful. But I do. I, admittedly, I often do feel this kind of in competition feeling. It's it's competition. With Absolutely, there are these... only so many libertarians out there, and only so many of them. Are are willing to move somewhere. Right. The few, far fewer are willing to move. And for me, I, I kind of feel like there's it's a, it's important. When, when, when we move, I don't know what you paid, Ian, but basically to move, you know, this was the bottom of the recession um, as far as the if housing. you include the, you know, me taking a bite on the house that right. I sold, 70 grand. Right. I mean, you know, there was the bottom of the, the housing market. I had to sell some cars. You, whenever you buy or sell a house or a car, you're taking a hit. And um, there's no doubt about it. Some furniture had to be, you know, let go and tools and things like that. It's just stuff that I didn't want to pick up and put in the uh, the moving truck. Um, didn't didn't make sense to me. So it costs money for people to move. Sure. And I find but some it, people can just throw all their stuff in a car and move for it's true. You know, the cost but of gas. I find it. I, I get indignant. When somebody says, hey, you know what you ought to do? You ought to move over here. <laughs> and then we'll get together and we'll get some folks and it's be, whoa, we're going to get us some t- liberty. Wasn't there like a free Tampa project or something? Yeah, like the that? free Tampa yeah, project was essentially let's get a bunch of uh, people to run for office in Tampa and this will really <laughs> work. And I find it to be the most cavalier thing to suggest yeah. you know hey why don't you just sell a bunch of your crap lose tens of thousands of dollars and get on over here and we i won't vote. do nothing we can move everyone can move to tampa and vote for the libertarian was, candidate was that was the tampa thing though was that encouraging people to move to tampa yes, or this they is were just, encouraging okay. people to I move mean, to a district in pinellas county i think in in long island you know Gigi bowman's doing save long island you know and it's not a move here project but it's gotcha. trying to get people to you know repair new york which even is more just ridiculous fuel. but yeah <laughs> She's not. She's well, not like, hey, move to New hold, York because this is thoughts. where we're going to get freedom. It's Gentlemen, hold the to, thoughts. We can continue in a moment. I want to make sure you get the chance to get on here at eight fifty five four fifty free. You can take control of the airways. We've got Gary listening in Montana. You're on Free Talk Live, Gary. Hi, big guy. How you doing? Hey, Gary. I wish you, you're on with three guys, but go ahead. You're on Free Talk Live. I sent. I sent you a tweet. Oh, splendid. But uh, things are not free here in Montana. Hmm, okay. I didn't expect they were. They're not free anywhere. No, they're not. So tell me uh, more. About a year ago, about a year ago, I'll pick your brain on this. I went out and grilled some hamburgers, had a beer, took my drugs, and I was going to bed. And I thought, well, no, before I go to bed, I'll just go and gas up the car. Well, I was in the uh, store paying for my gas, and I got arrested for a DWI. In the store, you were arrested. Okay. How'd that happen? Yes, sir. I don't know. Just what is pay for my gas. Well, I mean, the, the, the drinking and driving laws don't, like, stop when you get out of the car. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I was, I, I've told the story. I mean, I've been arrested for, you know, sleeping in my car. It's, it's, if, the, if the officer has reason to expect that you have uh, either driven the car or even been in control of the car, I mean, people have been arrested for drinking and driving while sitting in their driveways listening to music. That's it a is, good point. It I've is actually, crazy. When I was in jail with, uh, in, here in Keene for doing civil disobedience, uh, when I was in jail, there was a guy in there who was arrested at his house, and what had happened was he was driving, got home. Someone had called the police while they saw him on the road, suspecting him of driving drunk. Obviously, they don't know for sure. And then the police came to his house. This was after he'd had enough time to crack open a beer at home and had started to cons- you know, started to consume alcohol. The police knocked on his door. Of course, people don't know better, so he went and opened the door and talked to the police, and they breathalyzed him and arrested him for DUI right there, even though they didn't even witness him driving. Somebody else saw him. It's there, a crazy story. There was a, there was wow. a case where a woman was uh, charged with um, 
murder. She had uh, apparently been in some kind of a hit and run accident, and and the next day she turned herself in, and it was the next day she had alcohol on her breath, and and oh, they had escalated this from like um you know some sort of you know an accident and escalated because of the hit and run to a murder case because in that state. Uh, you know, if you kill somebody while you're drinking and driving, that's murder as opposed to manslaughter that's or murder. vehicular homicide or whatever. And because so, she had alcohol on her breath the next day, they figured she was drunk at the time? Yeah, they they had wow. this. It was really a far stretch of bad. Hey, uh, Gary, I don't know if you had more to your story, but we'd love to hear it if you do. So hang on. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number here tonight. Gary says Montana's not free, and he's right. Nowhere is free as long as we have these people calling themselves the state who are ruling over us all. Of course, there's an argument that everybody's consenting at some level. More coming up here. This is Free Talk Live. Summertime is safe big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at herbalhealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to herbalhealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E dot com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. 
You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. It's free talk live. Take control. It's toll free. 855 450 free is the number brought to you by Pro XPN. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features you'll find on the site. Again, freetalklive.com. The Patriot Act, the Affordable Health Care Act. Have you ever considered for a second that maybe we should uh, actually just consider that anything they call a law, that it's the opposite of that? Um, that the Affordable Health Care Act is, in fact, not affordable at all, that it's driving up the costs of uh, 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 of insurance. That's what my experience has been for me and my family. But I have found a solution. It's AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. And I want you to take a listen to this for a second. So now when... Um, you know, for instance, if you're doing a uh, heart bypass, here in this in, in the United States, $150,000 minimum for a heart bypass. There's probably some places you can get a bit less than that, but not many. Um, with AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com, they can set you up with a hospital in uh, Bangkok that has more than 300 doctors, 300,000 patients a year coming from 40 different countries, surgeons, dentists, whatever you need. They can get it for... Get this, ten thousand dollars, three hundred. You can, for less than a ten percent copay, you can go to Bangkok, pay the airfare, um, enjoy the hotels, uh, drink and uh, play golf, and get your heart bypass, and it'll wow. still be less. Um, the, the heart valve, one hundred and seventy thousand dollars here, over there, twelve thousand nine hundred. So, and a lot of people have twenty percent copays, by the way. In, in for those that uh, may not be in the, in the same age bracket, in vitro fertilization, $3,800, $3,850. That is incredibly low. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. All right, let's go back to Gary. He is in Butte in Montana listening allegedly to KXTL. Gary, are we on KXTL right now? Is that true? Uh, not until seven o'clock this evening. Uh huh. That's what I thought. Okay. I was. I thought you were actually that. Maybe they'd specially put us on or something like that. Okay. Very good. So you are listening online then. Either that, or you were just calling us just for the heck of it. And either way, we're happy to have you. So you were telling us that uh, you were at a, a store. It was a, a trip to the convenience store. You were getting gassing up the car apparently uh, before you were going to go to bed one night, and you got arrested for DUI. Tell us more of your story because we kind of went off into related story land. So I want to hear more of yours. Go ahead. Uh, it's a uh, town pump about five blocks away, five or six blocks away. Okay. So how did the how did and, you get arrested? I'm not really clear on how that happened. I don't know. I uh, pulled up to the pump and went in to uh, pay the clerk for the gas, and they came in and arrested me. Did they ask you some questions? I mean, usually there's a conversation that happens in the course of this. Mm-hmm. They're usually trying to, you know, get you to, uh, to incriminate admit. yourself. Yeah. yeah, nothing like that? Uh, it's been a year or so ago, so I cannot recall whatever the conversation was. Oh, Were right. you actually drunk at the time? After one beer, I don't think so. Okay, you'd had one beer. I didn't I didn't remember that detail in the story. So what ended up happening with the case? I mean, they charged you with DUI. Did you go to court? Did you take a plea? Uh, did you go with not guilty? What happened? Well, uh, at present, uh, I had to get a public defender at the time. And the public defender was uh, well aware of my financial straits and everything. That was never... Uh, brought forward in court uh, after I signed court documents the uh, judge in charge added that my uh, driver's license would be suspended okay that's pretty common and it's like I I talked with the uh, state of Montana DOJ earlier this afternoon and it's like you know got a gun in your head unless you pay us our money that's usually what it's all about. Now, again, I'm not really clear. Are you saying the court thing hasn't cleared out yet? Are you still you've still yet to go to trial? What's going on with the DUI charge, the legal charge? No, it's all, no, it's all over. So what happened? Did you take a plea or what happened? I yes, I 
took a plea. It's a, it's a it's amazing uh, to me. We we brought this up, the, you know, on on another show where somebody called in and wasn't sure of some of the things that his lawyer was doing. Folks mm-hmm. out there, if you are jammed up with the law, I don't care if it's a public defender or what. Make sure you understand what these people are doing on your behalf. If mm-hmm. you if you go into a criminal case and then you don't know exactly what happened after it's over, you have made a terrible terrible mistake. In in a lot of these cases, man, it's I'm, I I understand how that it can be difficult and complicated and it's stuff scary like that. Too. But it's, it can yeah. Be scary. It's terrifying. terrifying. Now, Gary, uh, so did they breathalyze you at all, ever? I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, but now here's what I did. Mm-hmm. I barbecued, I took my prescriptions, and I had one uh, beer while I was watching the movie. What were your prescriptions, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, they are heart drugs. Okay. Another thing that uh, probably isn't getting mentioned here is what they call residual mouth alcohol. Mm-hmm. And if you drank after you had your barbecue rather than before, what can happen, what does happen, is that you'll have alcohol uh, on your breath. Now they're supposed to they're supposed to have you rinse your mouth before you use this breathalyzer. Not no, necessarily no rinse your mouth, but they're supposed to make you wait at least like 15 minutes that's, after your last drink. Well, th- yeah, that's the idea, and in fact, and that's why they won't let you, generally in most states, blow within 15 minutes of burping. Hmm. So if you have to keep yeah. on burping every uh, 12 and a half minutes, then allegedly you shouldn't have to uh, take these tests. Yeah, if but, your gums bleed or anything like that, too, because it's supposed to be getting the alcohol from your breath as opposed to if you've got blood in your mouth, mm-hmm. there's a higher concentration of so, blood in the alcohol in the blood. Yeah. You know, if anybody out there considers even taking one of these breathalyzers, the first thing you need to understand is, is A, you shouldn't do it within uh, 15 minutes of, of drinking. B, you should rinse your mouth out with water or something before you uh, before you do it. Gary, do you know what the consequences are in Montana if you don't take the breathalyzer? Uh, I did not take the breathalyzer on the site. Okay, and so where did you take it? Back at the police station? Yes, sir, I did. So there, okay, so then there would have been a fair amount of time, right, between when you had the drink and when you were actually breathalyzed. Should have been. I would assume so, yeah. And what sounds was like the, a broken breathalyzer what, what, is what it sounds right, like. What was, the, uh, what was the BAC, do you recall? I don't recall offhand, no. But it was presumably enough for them to charge you with DUI. Yes. You know what, I, uh, Gary? I wish you the best out there, and uh, thanks for the call tonight. There's definitely it's it's a story that's not uncommon. A lot of people have been charged with DUI, and a lot of those charges have been, you know, hard to prove. Although people, it's hard to fight the the. Well, they don't uh, the have to BAC. prove anything because nobody takes it to court. If if yeah. the if the truth of the matter is that he had one beer, I mean. If if that's if that's true, I mean, he should have taken the thing to court, and unfortunately, the guy have. doesn't even remember if he took a plea or not. So, I mean, it's 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 one of these things. That it's it's impossible for us to say what was going on there. But but how do you fight the breathalyzer? I mean, how the do breathalyzer is you... easier to fight than you might think. There there's the I could pull up the uh, the the warranty on it. Like it, it actually says the manufacturer of that thing is a company called CMI Inc. Most of them are uh, the Intoxilizer five thousand or eight thousand, and these the things Intoxilizer are, five thousand right. It's a thousand, catchy thousand. name. Right. Mm-hmm. And so these things are made by this, you know, private company and they have the monopoly on them. They sell them to law enforcement and uh, the warranty that make the guarantee on it says specifically, it says uh, this device is not uh, warranted to be fit for any particular purpose. And mm-hmm. there's so there's no like guarantee that the thing even works. And on top of that, there's um, it's not necessarily specific to alcohol. It can be triggered by uh, acetaldehyde, which is a chemical that's common, especially in smokers' uh, breath. It's it's shining a light through a tube. There's so many I could go on for hours about yeah, the breathalyzer. But, okay, sure. But are there actually cases where people have? beaten a, yeah. a, a breathalyzer yeah I mean, you it, just you just have to it's it's a thing on the jury though you know it's a it, are you going to convince the jury that this thing isn't are all duis enough? uh jury level charges? not all duis as a matter of fact your first dui here in new hampshire is a b miss so you don't get one in new hmm. york it is so like i wanted to take mine to trial but they just made me such a deal that like i was facing four and a half years in prison and they were it. like do a month in jail and i was like all right let me get a misdemeanor conviction instead of a felony more coming up here in moments your thoughts are welcome your experience 855 450 free that's 855 450 3733 you know even if you don't ultimately take it to trial if you just refuse to plea initially you'll usually get a better plea down the line as well yeah 
This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) (laughs) try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-952-5760 800 952 5760. That's 800 952 5760. 800 952 5760. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenevention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenevention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenevention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenevention this October 31st through November 2nd, you can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. All you have to do is dial here, toll-free. 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. We're talking about DUI. Actually, that's where our last call came from. But you can bring up anything you want. Actually, before that, we were going to get into Galt's Gulch, one of these alternatives to the Free State Project. Hey, let's move people over here and see how that works out. Well, 
I don't know how many people had moved for Galt's Gulch, but turns out there may be a, a scam involved with that. We can talk to you more about it at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, let's continue, though. You can bring up whatever's on your mind. Let's go to Greg, listening in Washington, D.C. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Greg. Hey. Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Hey, so I uh, I just wanted to call because I listened to Colleen, uh, the uh, the former Inner Circle member of uh, Freedom Mind Radio, who called into one of the uh, Liberty Radio Network podcasts last night. Yes, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one, but um, she was a, an Inner Circle member. You're I referring the to Circle. the uh, Freedom Fiends with Michael W. Dean, which airs from one to three a.m. on LRN.FM. I heard a good portion of that interview as well. It was pretty fascinating. You're referring to Stefan Molyneux, who is a uh, kind of a an internet philosopher. Uh, he is he's built quite a following for himself, and there are allegations about and he's him. He's huge. I mean, you, you got to look at his numbers. Uh, he was like number one on iTunes. Somebody said like. Tens of millions of views on his face. On well, his he uh, number one on he's iTunes. The, he's the most popular yes. philosophy. You mean in like podcast. a? You mean like in a philosophy category? Uh, I, I saw number one on. I can't imagine iTunes. Stefan Molyneux is going to be beating not. Adam Carolla. I don't believe that for a, for a moment. And he's not. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, Joe Rogan. I don't think he's going to beat him either. It is the most he's popular philosophy like show in the world. Is yeah. what he markets it as. I don't think I mean, he's going to beat Alex Jones. Shows are there, but uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to beat Alex Jones. So no, I'm there a lot too doesn't matter, Mark. I'm talking about whether he could beat them on iTunes. I don't think that you know he can hold a candle to them. We sure as hell can. We've got 160 radio stations. So anyway, uh, uh, Stefan, yeah, you're right there. I'm just kind of explaining for for new listeners, Greg, uh, what's you know who Stefan Molyneux is. So anyway, he hosts this uh, podcast. It's become very popular, uh, and they're you know when you become popular, people are going to go after you. And in this case, they've got some legitimate reasons, I think. Uh, to to go after him, including uh, the allegations that his business manager apparently has, uh, and, and Stefan confirmed this, so I guess they're not really allegations, but that his business manager used copyright law to attack a critical YouTube channel, uh, somebody who had putting was putting up critical videos. Anyway, they had one of these uh, one of his supporters or former supporters from the what's called the inner circle, apparently. Of a very close knit group of uh, very you know devoted Stefan Stefan Molyneux supporters. This lady is a defector, and that's the interview you were referring to listening to. Go ahead, Greg. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to. I, I, I too was part of that inner circle, about ten or twelve people. There was actually a private message board, even above the philosopher king board that they talked about last night, called the Friends of FDR. Is that I don't know, twelve, fifteen, maybe people. Um, this is that's what that, she yeah. said she was part of, where there was like maybe ten or so yeah, people. Exactly, something like that. Um, and I, I actually was very close friends with Colleen. Uh, she, you know, visited me for Christmas one year, um, and I just uh, I want to corroborate everything she said. She was spot on. Some of even the really bold things that she said. Give us about, a breakdown you know, because obviously not everybody listened to that interview mm-hmm. on Freedom Fiends, sure. uh, which it was a fascinating interview. Um, so go ahead with. Uh, with what you you know, what yeah. do you want people to know? Well, I mean, one of the one of the things that seems to get an uh, an audible jaw drop on the podcast was that Seth thought that there it was not possible to be a good parent until Freedom Main Radio came along, and that was oh, that was wow. a pretty accepted that was a pretty accepted theme among FDR. And there was even that he basically sort of, what you're saying is that he has brought the message of good parenting finally to the earth. Uh, something like that, you know. Uh, he, I. I uh, a, a very sort of almost messianic uh, perspective, mm. and uh, you could hear uh, the, the the jaws drop on that podcast or on the. On By the, the way, Freedom stream. Fiends is a live radio program that is added exactly, to a podcast exactly. later on. Yep, and let yeah, me ask you about yeah, yeah. this: um, Is there some claim like uh, the Liberty Movement would be set back twenty five hundred years if, if it, it wasn't for Stefan? For, for Stefan, what is the claim behind that? Because I, I mean, that's a bold. Claim I think it, it, my interpretation of that is that he's so important to the movement that we'd be in trouble without him. But uh, what is what is your interpretation, Greg? And have you heard that statement? I didn't hear that statement directly. Thank and goodness. Honestly, yeah. Well, I because I stopped listening a few years ago. I mean, honestly, this wasn't actually something that I was prepared to talk about publicly. But I I feel so compelled to do so after what's been going on over the past week and what you know, listening to Colleen open up, but. I uh, and I hope this isn't too dark for your podcast, but 
I had a suicide attempt while I was in Freedom Mind Radio. And Steph, you know, there was what happened. He called me after he heard about that attempt. And he asked me, how many years do you think that you would have set the freedom movement behind had you completed your, your suicide attempt? <laughs> okay. And I think that it, 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 the, the, impl- the implied message there being free domain radio, and like I would have to set the movement back because of you know the, the negative publicity that would have occurred, the cult accusations that would have occurred, and free domain radio is the, the last bastion of hope for the liberty movement. Let me so let me try to stand up for Stefan here. Okay, so I think uh, if you if the, if the words that he asked you were how many years do you think your suicide would have set the liberty movement back, right? So if you're in Stefan's inner circle, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you understand the things that he's talking about, right? You 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 understand what he's talking about, right? Sure. That's that's yeah. probably how you get into the inner circle. And so mm-hmm. if you're somebody who understands Stefan Molyneux, I'd say that you're pretty important to the liberty movement. OK, and and because I do think that, look, Stefan's kind of an egomaniac. OK, but he is he is talking about some really, really important stuff. And, and important. He's, well, one of the nice and, things. And about... he's doing a lot of great stuff. And no if, doubt. And no if doubt. you understand his stuff, then you not being here is a detriment to the liberty movement. You know, uh, FDR be damned, you know. That's a that's a that's a fine point, but I think that uh, what you know what you're suggesting maybe Greg that Stefan Molyneux was getting at with that point is that oh well it's all about the movement you know you didn't you weren't well, thinking no, he, about he the expli- movement. Well, no, he explicitly said afterwards what you know, and this is as quote as close to a direct quote as I can get five years later. What sorts of news stories would have come out after that? Probably none. So, I mean, it's just a suicide. Well, I <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah. That's that. That's the thing that I think about later. I mean, I'm I'm obviously far removed from it. I've reconnected with my family since then, but it's just things like that that you know. I I think I, when I hear the stuff about the 2,500 years, you know, the the, the, the Liberty Movement being set set back, uh, if Steph weren't around, I I think back to things like that. And there are other things when when Colleen was talking about, you know, there were no good parents before, uh, before Steph. That was definitely an, uh, an accepted thing at Freedom Mind Radio. That was something that people just accepted as, as the truth. That be, And it was, as I was saying earlier, it was a syllogistic argument that was, Steph has figured out UPB, University of Preferable Behavior, morality. What is, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, UPB, and, is this, is this uh, jargon? Universally preferable it, it is, behavior. It is jargon. Is that, st- is that specific behavior. to Stefan Molyneux? It's, he yes, put, he put forward the concept of universally preferable behavior. Which Rather is than moral that, behavior. Right. right? Well, it, not wanting a, to devolve into the conversation that you and I have on a pretty regular basis, like what is moral and what is truth, he has come up with terminology to avo- to sidestep that uh, kind of nonsense, like what color is the sky, and he uses the term universally prefer- uh, preferable behavior, or UPB. The he also has the term defu, which stands for remove oneself from their family of origin. Yeah. Again, this is more jargon, and uh, whenever you hear jargon, yeah. that's usually a red flag that you may be dealing with a cult. Yes, and so so there was. Uh, I, I remember articles, and I remember podcasts saying that because parents didn't have UPB, his universal preferable behavior, which is basically Papa's, you know, argumentation ethics, you know, in, in a different, you know, coat of paint, right? But because the world didn't have this, parents who taught morality to their children were lying to their children about their core knowledge of, of, of knowing morality. Therefore, pretty much all parents before Steph were liars. Therefore, all parents – there was an implicit argument that all parents are bad. I know that there are no you know direct quotes of Steph saying all parents are bad, but there was – Definitely a, still, a, a sort of implicit syllogism that. Now, wasn't there? Uh, there was a statement that Colleen, the uh, the lady that was on Freedom Fiends last night, made about how inside the inner circle that was more clear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It was absolutely made clear. Like that, he may not say um, in 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 real life that all parents are bad. He might might not come right out and say that, but that was pretty clear if you yeah. were in the inner circle. Yeah, Stand absolutely. by, Greg. I'd like to come back with more here. I want to find out how you got out of it. and Because you said you were involved with it a few years ago, so hopefully he's got time to stick through the news, as you will as well. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number here. You can take control. It's Free Talk Live. 
Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E dot com. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, August 27, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.50 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,287 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $517. Antiwar.com reports, The Gaza war came to an apparent halt yesterday with an open-ended ceasefire containing most of the same terms as a failed peace treaty being agreed to and likely taking the place of a formal truce. With Israel's cabinet so vehemently opposed to the truce, the ceasefire came as something of a surprise, especially to the cabinet, as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu agreed to the deal without any cabinet vote at all. Economy Minister Naftali Bennett, one of the most outspoken of the cabinet, Hawks blasted the move, saying the cabinet was almost uniformly opposed to peace with the Gaza Strip and wants the war resumed immediately. Netanyahu insisted that he didn't need cabinet approval for a ceasefire. Where this goes from here remains to be seen, but Israel's coalition seems more divided than ever, with even many of Netanyahu's own Likud party complaining that agreeing to peace was a sign of weakness and that Israel should have continued the war at all cost. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to take Peace, Love, Liberty Radio on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty, while simultaneously continuing to create daily liberty media. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot radio.com. Reuters reports one of two candidates competing to succeed Afghan leader Hamid Karzai threatened on Tuesday to pull out of a UN-backed audit of a disputed presidential election, undermining a process meant to defuse a volatile standoff between the contenders. The investigation is part of a U.S.-brokered deal between presidential candidates Abdullah Abdullah and Ashraf Ghani, both of whom have claimed to have won the election that was hoped would usher in the country's first democratic transfer of power. The crisis over the outcome of the 
vote has raised the specter of another round of war in Afghanistan after the country was torn apart by years of fighting in the 1990s, which eventually led to the rise of the power of the Taliban. On Tuesday, Abdullah's team said the UN had until today to accept their demands to widen the criteria for identifying and discarding ballots deemed fraudulent from a June runoff vote. Abdullah's spokesman, Mujib Rahman Rahimi, said, if our demands are not taken into account, we will not recognize the legitimacy of the process. Rahimi said if the audit went ahead without accepting Abdullah's demands, his camp would not recognize any future government in Afghanistan as legitimate. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Antiwar.com reports tensions between Ukraine and Russia ratcheted up dramatically yesterday with the report of the Ukrainian government capturing 10 Russian soldiers along the border. The soldiers, according to a defense ministry statement, accidentally crossed the unmarked border. The fate of the soldiers will likely be a major topic of discussion for the new talks between Presidents Poroshenko and Putin in Minsk. It will also add to Ukraine's hysterical proclamation of a Russian invasion after last week's sending of a large number of trucks with human humanitarian aid to Luhansk. Already, the Ukrainian officials say that the soldiers must have been there on some special mission to undermine Ukrainian sovereignty. Ukraine is engaged in a war against the ethnic Russian secessionist in eastern Ukraine along the Russian border, and Russia has been pushing for a ceasefire. Those Ukrainian stories have often included claims of columns of Russian tanks appearing out of nowhere, and in one case of Ukraine's own military destroying a massive column of invading Russian vehicles, vehicles which were never seen nor reported missing by Russia. In eastern Ukraine, what is going on is often as uncertain as why, with official rhetoric changing and often internally contradicting. The armored column Ukraine destroyed not only stopped being part of the official story, Ukraine incredibly claimed they'd never reported such an incident in the first place. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Friends of local man Carl Brewster told reporters this week they are all absolutely at a loss as to how he is not completely depressed. I've known Carl for years now, and he really is a great guy, you know, super nice. But honestly, I don't know how he doesn't go home and cry himself to sleep every night. I mean, he walks dogs for a living and no one will ever date him. I really don't get it. Saying that they were baffled at how their close friend managed to remain even moderately happy day in and day out given his life circumstances, sources confirmed they were regularly confronted with Carl's perplexingly gregarious and affable demeanor. I mean, Carl's life really, really sucks, but somehow he manages to wave good morning to me every time I see him and he always has this big smile on his face. Yeah, maybe he's on some kind of medication. Things have always been really awful for Carl, but he's never really been depressed. I mean, I make three times as much money as him, and I'm totally miserable. Honestly, we all thought he would have killed himself by now, but he hasn't. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You know, I was uh, actually up late as I tend to be. You know, we do a nice show. So I was up late listening to the Freedom Fiends last night and I heard uh, them interviewing a lady. I didn't catch her name until uh, actually Greg called in tonight to tell us what it was. Colleen was on their, their show last night and it was Michael Dean as well as. Uh, let's see, Dobby Barker, I think, was on as well. And they uh, were talking with this lady who was formerly involved with uh, the Stefan Molyneux group of fanatics. Uh, some Please, would call why, them, why use that terminology? Some would call them cultists and... Fans? Fan, that's what fan's short for, you know. Sort of. Fan is short for fanatic. Anyway... Uh, I'm a Stefan Molyneux fan, and I wouldn't say that I'm a fanatic. Okay. I think he does great videos. Well, anyway, fan is short for fanatic, so... Uh, <laughs> That's something I wanted to mention here before we bring Greg back on the line, because Greg is also saying that he was involved with the inner circle 
uh, which is a very small group of about 10 to 15 supporters of Stefan Molyneux, who's this kind of internet uh, philosopher who's made it real big and has hit it, uh, hit on lots of uh, podcasts. He's been on Alex Jones and he's been on Joe Rogan and uh, he's gotten great exposure for the ideas of liberty. And that's something you were saying, Chris, during the news break was that you feel like, and Chris Cantwell is here with uh, Ian and Mark, but you were you feel like he's done a lot for the, the ideas of freedom. And there's no doubt about it. I mean, we've had uh, Stefan on our show multiple times. He's been on as a, as a guest co-host in the past, for live from the Porcupine Freedom Festival. I, I think he's easily one of the most important people in this movement. There's no question about he's it a, in my mind. He's a friendly guy. He's a good communicator of the ideas of freedom. But man, he's really stepped in it recently. I mean, with this whole use of copyright to take down a channel that's critical of him, that's, to me, one of the biggest oversteps, and it's something that should be apologized for, and like they've been suggesting on Freedom Fiends, he should try to make right uh, to the owner of the channels that, I think that's actually more than one channel, that uh, that were taken off of YouTube as a result of copyright claims by a guy who supposedly is against intellectual property. So that should that's be a, rectified. That's a, that's a pretty nasty contradiction, and I don't agree with him doing that. Let me play devil's advocate here and say that, like, you're on YouTube and you're agreeing to terms of service. I mean, this is what people always tell me when I get banned from Facebook. Nobody seems to care. I'm banned from Facebook right now, and I didn't even mm -hmm. do anything. I'm literally banned for being made an admin of a group that I never even posted in. Okay. Not guilty. But the thing is, like, you know, it, look, Google's a private company, and they set their own terms of service. And one of the terms that they set is don't copy the other guy's Stuff. And if you go and you copy the other guy's stuff, then you know someone's going to bring the hammer down on you. But it wasn't you. about cop. It wasn't about even copyright. They used copyright as their lever against the channels that they were that they didn't like because it was. Uh because it was critical. And when they and were the being excuse. critical, they were probably using clips from his stuff, and it's his and, own copyrighted material. And that the, sounds like fair use to me. It's fair, uh, it's fair use because it's critique. When you put out video and you want, you know, I'm like, how can I comment on your video without showing video? Right. So that sounds like fair use to me. And even if and the, their excuse for it wasn't about, oh, well, you know, we, we want to use copyright. It was, well, we use that because we wanted to protect our listeners and apparently one of the channels was allegedly, supposedly doxing some of the listeners and putting information out there about them. But again, my position is it's not my job as a talk show host to protect my listeners. Um, it's a lame excuse for I, using I agree with copyright you. against somebody who's critical. Look, Chris Campbell, you know what it's like out there on the internet. People are going to critique you when you're visible, when you have a, oh, a strong yeah. opinion, yeah. Uh, and you know you've got to you've got to be be willing to handle that. I mean, to to to, to run around and issue takedown notices to everybody who cr criticizes you to you know file a lawsuit. I'm not saying Stefan filed a lawsuit, but you know. It's using the law yeah. to uh, to go after somebody when, who's critical. When you make a takedown notice, what you're doing is you're threatening a lawsuit. Yeah. That's the reason that it's getting taken down, because they don't want to end up in court. Right. And uh, so anyway, that's that's a huge issue. But there's others. And we've got Greg back with us here in uh, in D.C. Now, Greg, you said you were on the inside or the inner circle, inner sanctum of, uh, of the Stefan Molyneux group. And how did you end up leaving? I think I fundamentally ended up leaving because Stefan made specific promises about the quality of the relationships that I would have as a result of Freedom Man Radio, and those promises just didn't bear themselves out. The relationships and friendships at FDR were so ephemeral. They were you, you would be friends with someone for three months, five months, six months, a year, and then Something would happen, and then either you were shut out from that friend, or they were shut out from you. And I was look. I was How are they the shut out? Her. What's that mean? Well, we're we talking I mean, about internet friends here. We're not even talking about real yeah, well, life, are we? Well, the uh, well, uh, Darlene came to uh, Christmas. The line, well, the line blurred quite a lot. I mean, okay. in fact, I moved to Philadelphia along with uh, I was living with three other listeners and. Uh, some other people moved there, and at one point we had like eight or nine people living in Philadelphia meeting up regularly. It was a uh, um, so the, the line was blurred quite a bit, and I was in on calls and meetups where we were like, you know what, we're not, you know, they're, they're not feeling like this person's living up to their values. I feel bad about that, and that's not the way that I really th thought that I was going to get, you know, happiness with my relationships. And um, I, 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 one of my very closest friends now, I remember very specifically being on a call with Steph and three other and three or four other inner circle members and we were just gonna you know let let person x take a break from the community for a little bit this friend still feels like like a gut-wrenching pain when he thinks about this i'm still he's you know i still talk with him he's 
he's one of my best friends. And I feel horrible about that because I it was definitely pressured to not talk with him. And after my suicide attempt that I mentioned earlier, I was uh, Steph told me that I needed to take a little bit of a break from the community. So I took like a month or so. This was back in 2008. So I think fundamentally, though, it was when Steph, um, you know, he, back when the, you know, legal, not legal, who knows, stuff with Christina was going on, he expressed some upset about me and a few other inner circle members not, quote, anticipating his needs uh, about what he would need about emotional support and so on. What was the know, legal stuff a, you were referencing there? I, that, you uh, just sort that, of... that was a that was the stuff that he uh, gave some half truths or mistruths about on the Joe Rogan show, which was that you know he his wife get, being reprimanded. His wife, for, you're talking about Stefan Molyneux's wife, is apparently a licensed therapist, and there was some sort of a, a dust up between her and the licensing board about her giving out advice on a podcast yeah. or something like that. And you said, yeah, and the, the allegation is that Stefan told a lie about that on Joe Rogan. Yeah, he said that she wasn't, um, I, I don't know the quite the specifics of the lie, but you know, he minimized it. That's why I call it a half-truth, because mm-hmm. technically, if you can see where he is telling the truth by the letter of the word, like, but the specific words, but you no, know, he is not telling the full truth about that. He, she was absolutely commanded. Um, there was a, one of the statements was that the DFU, which is cutting off your family of origin, was, is not recommended in any of the scientific literature, and she signed that agreement. And, yeah, the, the, he definitely washed over that in the Joe Rogan show. And this was but recent he, on the Joe Rogan show. He recently this appeared. This was like a, a week ago, yeah. But right. you've been um, out for how many years? You've been out of uh, you know, the, oh, the fandom? Yeah, yeah, no, the reason I, yeah, the reason I bring that up is because um, the legal stuff, that was going on back in 2010 or so. Or okay. mid 2000, no, 2011 maybe. And I was one of the few inner circle people who knew about this, and he was upset that I and a few others weren't reaching out to him asking how he was doing. And actually, I'm, candidly, I was Skype, you know, sending him a Skype message every other day, asking how the stuff was going. And I, to me, going back to the friendship stuff, like he considered me, I, I thought, a friend. And yet he you know, was, you know, had these new rules about our friendship, which was, I need to anticipate his needs. Were you sending him money? Uh, I sent him uh, close to $2,000. You know, um, Stefan makes his money because, you know, I mean, this is what he does, right? Like, he produces videos, and he produces videos that are pretty important, I've got to say. Um, I, I've seen a couple Some of, of them. Some of them are. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you like it's like dandelion seeds. You know, you put all this stuff out there, and then some of them, you know, land in just the right spot. Um and, and that's what he does. So, I mean, obviously, as a video producer, he has to be paid in some manner or another. Um, we have the AMP program. We take money, mm-hmm. um, but we Chris, use people it. people can donate to you through ChristopherCantwell.com. Yeah. yeah. I think it's interesting. I'm more than happy to take money. <laughs> I think it's interesting to know um, what, you know, people have donated and, and that sort of thing. I mean, you know, it should, it shows a level of commitment. But I. But that's not an indicator of whether or not it's a cult. Now, Greg, I'm no, wondering. No. Uh, I'd, I'd like you to ask. Can you hang on with us a little bit more? For a few more questions. Absolutely, I'm all right. all family, yeah. That's what I want to know next. Is is it your uh, view on this that this was indeed a cult that you were involved with after the fact? Looking back, hindsight being 2020, uh, we'll come back with more with Greg here. 855 450 free. Free talk live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. On the 
the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call one 800 68 62237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. It's the Onion Radio News. J.C. Penney abandons its 45-second sale. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Word came today from J.C. Penney headquarters in Plano, Texas, that the retail giant will discontinue its 45-second sale. The bargain bonanza, in which all J.C. Penney merchandise is discounted by 60% for 45 seconds starting at 1 p.m. daily, simply wasn't pulling in enough revenue. CEO Alan Questrom. The uh, 45-second sale drew very strong customer response, but regrettably, only a handful of shoppers actually got to capitalize on our fantastic prices uh, due to the horrific injuries they sustained during their stampede to the cashier. Questrom added that plans are in the works to create a longer two-minute sale intended to give frantic shoppers at least a fighting chance to enjoy incredible store-wide savings. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 357 while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Still want to get back to the Galt's Gulch discussion. Plus, Chris Cantwell found an interesting story about a court decision, some disturbing court uh, possibilities as well, about redefining what threatening is considered legally. Uh, yeah. So well, I'd like to talk about that. Of course, your calls come first here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Antiwar.com is doing a fundraiser right now, and I don't know how many days are left in this thing, but they, uh, they're they getting close to their goal. They're half over halfway to the goal, but they need to make the goal to keep the site operating and to keep the news flowing. Uh, the only real great site with anti-war opinion and editorial and news com- uh, news. It's a great site. It's been around for a long time, and let's uh, let's keep it together. And in fact, right now there's a, a Bitcoin doubling, a matching fund available. Up to ten thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin is on the table, that is matchable essentially. So if you contribute some Bitcoin over at antiwar.com, some of that. Bitcoin that's on the table will go to match it. If you don't have Bitcoin, you want to do credit card or PayPal or something like that. Uh, they also have twenty six thousand dollars in non Bitcoin funds that are utter, that are available for matching. So whatever it is that you give to antiwar.com, it will likely be matched. Please go there and do that if you support antiwar.com's efforts. Whether you even read the site or not, uh, they do some great work there. So let's continue here. We've got Greg. He's in Washington D.C. calling in about Stefan Molyneux, which is you know. 
we don't normally talk about Stefan Molyneux on Free Talk Live. It's not normally a topic that comes up, but within the last couple of weeks, it has come up multiple times. People are very concerned about this. And I imagine there are people out there who would like us to not be talking about this sort of thing. Um, but as much as I appreciate what Stefan Molyneux has done for the ideas of freedom, and he has no doubt propagated those ideas, I'm not going to run interference if somebody has something they want to reveal about their experience in being a supporter of Stefan Molyneux and some of the things they experienced and that they saw and they heard, uh, because maybe things aren't all as they seem, and maybe there are some real legitimate concerns uh, about you know how things were run and what you know, the, specifically him taking down a YouTube channel, which had clips that maybe he didn't want people to hear, like this one. It, it, when you recognize that, well, sort of. When I recognize that, if if it's not for this show and me right now, for all that I can see, people might have to wait another 2,000 years or 2,500 years for someone to come along who's willing to take this stand. Now, I don't know. That's obviously out of context. I don't know which stand he's talking about, whether it's a stand uh, regarding par parental abuse or whether it's a stand regarding talking about the ideas of freedom. Well, to him, they're, uh, these are the same things. That essentially that, uh, you know, from what I've gotten is, is that, you know, it's all wrapped together, that government is abuse and that it all stems from people striking their children. Uh, Greg is with us here. He was on the inside or the inner circle of Stefan Molyneux. This is a, he's an internet philosopher. Stefan's website, by the way, is freedomainradio.com. He at least deserves uh, a plug so people can go and listen on their own, make their own decision. And he's a powerful um, broadcaster. But the, uh, the, the, the critical channel on YouTube is now called True Mirror, T-R-U-M-I-R-R-O-R. -R -R. I'll put a link out to it on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. That's where all the videos that were taken down from the previous channel, True Sheebs, uh, that, uh, that those were re-uploaded to a different channel. So they're still there, just like with the Streisand effect. Now that Stefan has attacked the True Sheeb's channel and had it taken down, it's only, of course, popped back up and now has become more controversial and there's now more discussion about these videos and more discussion about the channel and more attention brought to, uh, to the whole controversy. So again, he would have been better off just letting it be. Just letting the channel be. I can I can tell you from my own experience that the people who have tried to shut me up have done the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I've told the Free State Project board this. <laughs> uh, so, Greg, you're back with us here. The, 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 the statement that he's saying here is that people might have to wait another 2,000 years or 2,500 years for someone to come along who's willing to take this stand. I mean, what do you, what do you have to say about that as somebody who is formally in, involved? Do we have Greg? In Washington, Greg in D.C. Oh, sorry. Hey, sorry, we got you. I had you on mute. Go ahead. There we go. Uh, no, I, I think it's bullshit. Oh, I you can't that... say that on the radio. Unfortunately, <laughs> oh, we're going uh, to we're going to give you one uh, uh, a mess up. Yeah, Norm you're practically an interview at this no, point, right? This is basically an interview. Most of the time, we'll drop a call on that, but uh, we're we're going to give you the chance to uh, to not do that again. Um, this sorry is about that. this okay. is on real radio stations, so keep the keep that in mind. Okay. So you were saying okay. about Stefan Molyneux's statement about people having to wait two thousand years or twenty five hundred years for someone to come along who's willing to take this stand. You were saying that is BS. Yes, and the reason I I think that is that he, so well first of all I think that he's overstating his role. I think that he did have a very good role in certain aspects, particularly you know talking about things like peaceful parenting and things like things like that. But you know, he, he has a habit, I think, of not talking about the people that came before him. He'll, the, the, he'll, I think there are a couple of podcasts where he talks about the three podcasts worth reading are Rand, Nietzsche, and Aristotle. And that's you know, obviously an exaggeration. He's obviously like on a podcast saying words into a microphone, as you, Ian, said the other night. But no, I think, I think that there is some that that takes a little bit of a of an ego to to have that cross your mind. Absolutely, and, and uh, then to, to put yourself as the fourth main philosopher in in human history. And I really do think that he thinks that. As Colleen said, I was actually there in a hotel lobby when he said the comment about you know he, he actually like put a microphone in between us. It was just the two of us. I had met there for a barbecue in Toronto, and he put a microphone in between us with his chairs, and he said, yeah, just by the way, I, I record every conversation I have uh, 
I, I even like keep it on when I go to the grocery store. Wouldn't it be cool to see like Socrates going to the grocery store? That's where, you know, that, that, and I think he told that to other people and that's sort of the ideology of where that quote came from. Well, gotcha. Uh, you know, um, I, I do think that uh, to do that job, you have to have some something of an ego, and um, sure. you know, and and I, I guess that is what it is. Also, no one's going to promote you like you promote you. <laughs> so, well, that's true. And, and but the, I think there's, I think the problem with doing a one man show in a lot of cases is that the ego can go wild when there's yeah. nobody else in the room to check you when you say something stupid or something crazy well, or you and, know, and you inflated. designed Free Talk Live not never to do that. You you called it Free Talk Live. It's not yeah. the Ian and Mark show. Yeah. Um, you know, the whole idea is is to to not have that thing going on here on Free Talk Live. And frankly, one of the fastest ways to get off the air on Free Talk Live is to, to start pump up my ego. Is to start yeah. telling the show the show host specifically Ian. But I, it makes me uncomfortable too. Um, that they're great and awesome yeah, and, like and that it. kind of thing. You know, I do what real I can. Quick, you know. You just know, I guy. love what you guys do. That's fine, right. but you know, just a whole a guy bunch of that. Doing what I can with a microphone. Uh, so, Greg, the question cool. I asked you before we went to break was, you know, looking back on this, and you said it's been a few years since you've been involved uh, with the uh, Stefan Molyneux Inner Circle. Were you involved in a cult? I'm not comfortable calling it a cult. I think there were some clearly culty aspects to it. Uh, I think specifically the group think of getting on calls and deciding who needed to take a break from the community, uh, the off-limits nature of certain discussions. I mean, you can go to the board right now, and I think there's still a post into the top that determinism is off-limits. You can't talk about determinism on the board. Hmm. Um, things, things like that. It sounds um, like you know, team. I, yeah. Thank uh, you for I, sharing I, I, uh, tonight. I really appreciate you calling in and sharing your experience. Greg. You don't think Ian would talk about determinism? We'll talk about anything here on Free Talk Live. Thanks for the call tonight. It'll annoy me. The toll-free <laughs> number is 855-450-FREE. You can call in, share your thoughts on whatever's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy from Phil's Gang. If you've been nervous about investing in the current stock market, then you need to listen up. Phil's Gang is having a free webinar on Saturday, September 13th. That's going to be at noon Eastern time. You're going to learn how to invest in this type of market, not just the stock market, but you're going to be investing in yourself. Don't miss it. To sign up, Go to LearnStocksForFree.com. That's LearnStocksForFree.com or call 877-642-64. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet, with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. 
It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value and they look neat too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy to use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at DontTreadOnMeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't Tread on Meme, your path to a voluntary society with honest money. DontTreadOnMeme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Have you ever been involved in a cult? Now, not all cults are religious. Uh, sometimes there's like business cults. I was involved in a magnetic ma uh, mattress sales company once upon a time that could be argued that <laughs> this is a network marketing <laughs> company. You could argue I, there's cult aspects to that, too. I, I wouldn't disagree that there's cult aspects to things because cults have uh, managed to... Uh, really, uh, you know, use certain ideas, certain ways to motivate people, um, and they've re they've fine-tuned them. But if you call every organization that has had some success at motivating people towards a common goal a cult, you uh, destroy the term cult. And that's not what I'm doing. You minimize and uh, what? Well, Are you I, saying I'm doing that? I, no, okay, I'm not good. waking that claim. Okay. But you have tossed out the term cult about a dozen times this evening, and I find. You know, first here's yeah, the thing. Yeah, we're talking about whether or not something's a cult. No, I, so we're talking about people, the word cult. People, and I think the answer people is no. throw that people throw that accusation at us, right? People throw that at at uh, Ian. Hold at, on, you think you think what is not a cult? I'm sorry. What? I I do not think that uh, the Stefan Molyneux and the Free okay. Domain Radio thing is a cult. But what about network marketing? I do not think it is a cult. For me, a cult needs to have a religious center. That's not it, true. I mean, again, uh, the, the, just because... You have looked at the definition. You because, found one definition no, out of like several a dozen different of websites. them. There's several different websites out there with that with information about cults. Yes, you can misuse a term enough that it will then suddenly garner another meaning. No, it's true. It, you don't, it doesn't have to have a religious aspect. There's certain things about cults that apply to most cults, but not all cults. So it's certainly common for cults to have a religious uh, viewpoint, but in the case of a business-like cult, it would still, for instance, apply to uh, the group displaying a zealous and unquestioning commitment to its leader. Having that sort of charismatic leader is a sign uh, of a cult. Also, having jargon is a sign of a cult. Having the encouragement of disconnecting with family members, which is something I saw in network marketing. Hey, if your uh, friends and family don't want to sign on to sell the product, then you should disconnect from them and come and hang out at our meetings. So that's also a very culty thing. So don't just don't just shove something to the wayside and say, oh, well, they can't be a cult because it's not religious. Religious. Go ahead, Chris. Well, I, I was going to say, I mean, I don't I don't think it necessarily has to have a religious center. I mean, if it's an ideological thing, I mean, you know, look, um, there's a lot of people who look at libertarianism in general as like a political cult. And then, of course, there are different uh, factions within the movement that, that people get caught up in, and it does like occupy their entire life. I mean, mm -hmm. look, there's uh, how many people have left their friends and family and pets and career behind to move to New Hampshire and join up with us, right? And then people say this about Free Keen or whatever the group of activists here we want to call them, they they say that it's a cult and that Ian's a cult leader and all of well, this stuff. Well, I actually stuff. am a minister in a church. So, right, and you, know. you actually did start a church, and I said to you, I'm like, how do you think that's going to go over with the people who call, call you a cult? And you're like, eh, you know, might as well run with it, right? Yeah. So, I mean, now you've actually got the the Keen Activist Center is now a a Which a you've been parish, unbanned from, by the way. A parish, or what is it? A, a um, parsonage. 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 
yes. a parsonage of mm-hmm. the Shire Free Church. And so, you know, when I get my uh, notice that I'm banned from it, well, you're no longer welcome at the parsonage of the Shire Free Church. Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, so people throw these things around, and I don't, I, I don't like, it seems to me, and you I know you're not you, banned, by the way. I, I was at clear. one point. I am now unbanned. Right. And now, because, uh, you know, because Nor a did couple I ban of, you. I know that you did okay. not ban me. You, look, you and I are good. In fact, right? while you were banned you at, zip the it or I'll ban your ass. at the <laughs> Keen Activist Center, while you were banned, you were not banned on this side of the building. It's a, du- a duplex. Right. And uh, so, so you were always it's ridiculous. Yeah, so this was the hilarious uh, <laughs> thing of me coming and hanging out on one side of the porch <laughs> while the people who banned me were hanging out on the other side Which of the porch. you did gracefully because you like property, you know, pr- appreciate property rights. Of course, I do. You Where know? were you going with the, the Well, the thing is, thing. It, would see, it seemed to me that what you were doing is you did not call uh, Stefan Molyneux's thing a cult, but it seemed to me that the implication was certainly there. And I and I and I, I think I agree with the caller that there are definitely some things that dis, that sort of ring to you know ring the cult f- bell, if you will. There, uh, there are some red flags. Yep, yeah, there there are some things that uh, you know are worthy of concern over there. But I, I just I, I think with that the Shire Free Church, there that- is no leader. I'd like to point out since you brought up the Shire Free Church, and you can go to church.shiresociety.com if you want to read more about it. There is no leader. There is no dear leader. No uh, charismatic leader. And certainly, you can argue I don't have much charisma at all. Yeah, I would argue. Uh, that. <laughs> but uh, you know, there's no charismatic leader. There's no hierarchy. Uh, there's just ministers, and then there's people who are members of the church. So anybody can become a minister so long as they sign the Shire Society Declaration and they agree with the the tenets of the church. And each minister decides for themselves who they recognize as other ministers. So there's you know there's not even any kind of central committee or uh, or anything like that. Well, I so. mean you know uh, the the parsonage of the Shire Free Church is in a house that was once owned by a Mister Ian uh, Freeman and it's true. Uh, you know he is now given this over to the church and uh you know we'll yes sort of but see i don't ask anyone for any contributions and, to the know, church you know um anyway so but people throw these accusations around i mean i think it's i think it's damaging I, and i don't think it's I, I don't think it's um I, I don't think it's appropriate when they when they do it to us i don't think that it's appropriate to do to stefan molyneux i mean he's got a it's a voluntary association and there's some people who take it way too seriously there are people who are unquestioning towards stefan and that's not healthy to do with anybody for anybody Right, and that's another kind of culty uh, aspect. Let's go to your <laughs> phone calls and thoughts here. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's the toll free number. We've got Nate, who's been waiting patiently, listening in northern Minnesota to WNMT. Hey, Nate. Hi. Hey, you're on the air. Yeah, it's under uh, federal rules of civil procedure. It's Rule thirty eight. It's over twenty dollars. You have the right to a jury trial. Yeah, not true in most places that I've ever been. You know, it's the get it's yourself the into a common law court. Try it. Yeah, it, it's the rule. I agree with you. It just doesn't function that way at all. And to try to get it to function that way is seems to be impossible. Wait, yeah, that's what Chris. Can you expand for a moment on what you're saying there? Because isn't that in the statement? Wasn't that weren't in, those words in that statement before uh, Nate started reading? In all suits at common, at common law. law. Uh, it, it's something where the matter of controversy exceeds twenty dollars. The right of trial by jury shall be preserved, or something to that effect. And that's obviously not the that's not the country that you live in. And and the courts that you go Maritime into law, now Admiralty are law. not are not common law Statutory courts law. as that was understood. You're really dealing with. Um, <clears throat> It's it's if you want to call it civil. <laughs> yeah, I would love to be able to get uh, a jury trial for a speeding ticket, and I think I should be able to, but you I can't. can't. Listen, the, yes, you can. The judge is going to buffalo you. All you have to do, the judge is going to ask you, are you pro se? You say, my name is whatever your name is. And he said, well, you have a public defender. My name is whatever okay. it is. You say your name three Nate, times. Hold on, hold on. Well, it sounds like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Now, Nate, let me ask you this. This is the most important question about what you just said. Have you actually tried this? Yes. Do they allow Judge? cameras in the courtroom where you've tried it? No, not in Minnesota. They don't. It's up to each judge's discretion. So basically, the judge says no, and the judge can change the transcript fee whenever he wants for each case, which is odd. But that's the way it is in Minnesota. Can he? Can and you say camera three case. times and get a camera in the courtroom? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going off a of federal website. I'm not making this shit up. Oh, you I'm can't sorry. say oh. that on the radio. We gotta let I, you go. I would invite the gentleman to come speed around New Hampshire and, and uh, you know try to click his heels together three times or whatever his pitch was and, and see if he gets a, a jury trial for a speeding ticket because I don't think it's gonna fly. I'm sorry to tell you. 
I'd love to see it too. I mean, there are a lot of people who call this show with a lot of legal theories about what they think is going to work in court, and 90% of the time, they've never been in court. Right. They've just been studying and studying and studying. And that's great, uh, but it's not real until you actually attempt to apply some of these ideas, as I have done. And I believe, Chris, you are, yeah. you've, been, you've done some of this. And I've tried some of this stuff, and it just doesn't go anywhere whatsoever at all, ever. And you, I'd love to see that change. You'll Please. get yourself locked up. Come and, well, I've got myself locked up either way, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it means actually, nothing to Ian. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's, it's true. The but first you'll time get held I tried in contempt. Is right, the, the first time I tried it, I got held in three times contempt. I got three contempt charges uh, for trying some of this court magic words, mumbo jumbo, whatever you want to call it, legal theories. But I would like to invite everyone out there who has these legal theories. I don't care which one it is, whether it's sovereign this or it's the all capital letters conspiracy, or it's that you have to utter these words and then you don't consent to the jurisdiction, whatever it is. Please. Come to New Hampshire. In fact, if you come to the Keene area and you get a trial where you want to show off your freedom stuff here, that's going to help us all get out from under the thumb of the courts, I'm going to bring my video camera in. We're going to record every single moment of it. We're going to put it on YouTube for everyone to see your amazing plan. We will finally plan. solve this problem. We'll sh everyone in the world will be able to see your amazing plan work or not. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com if you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the fields is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to ProFlowers.com, click the blue microphone in the top right corner, and enter code PLOW. That's ProFlowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidavi. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. 
If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. You bring up what you want. By dialing toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop on by freetalklive.com. All the features on the site are completely free, so enjoy those. freetalklive.com. Uh, we are going to Orlando, and uh, Ian, you both you and I. Yes. Uh, from on Saturday, October the 4th through, uh, what is it, Monday, October the 6th, it's going to be Coins in the Kingdom. It's a Bitcoin party at the Walt Disney World Resort in really? Orlando, Florida. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good job. <laughs> Free Talk Live is going to be there, and you're invited. Lots of different uh, speakers. M.K. Lords, Davi Barker. Uh, Will Two of pa- my favorites. Yep, Will Pangman, Jason King, Pamela Morgan, Jeremy Gardner. Lots of different folks. Jeremy Gardner is from the Crypt. Cryptocurrency College Network. Hmm. And it's going to be at the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista in downtown Disney, Saturday, the October the 4th through October the 6th. Tickets are only 60 bucks. Downtown Disney. Isn't that a private pl- city, like private roads, that kind of thing? Yes. That's so cool. And uh, hotel rooms are 99 bucks. Kids under 12 are free. Fun's mandatory, though. Uh, come celebrate magic internet money at the Magic Kingdom. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Should be lots of fun. I intend to enjoy myself thoroughly. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Let's continue. Robert is in Vermont. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Robert. We have Robert. I beat uh, a, uh, you know, the uh, breathalyzer uh, quite a few years ago. You what beat about one? It? You beat it? How? You, you were asking if anybody had ever beat the breathalyzer test. How'd you do it? I, well, I, you know, uh, was on my way home. And, you know, I had come from, uh, you know, a bar about an hour earlier than I had drank a, a boiler maker. And an hour after that, I got into town. I had the music turned up real loud back then. I was real cocky when I was young. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the the, uh, the, the police, uh, you know, came up, uh, you know, behind me. And, you know, they pulled me over and a cop got out. He says, uh... He says, don't you think that music's a little bit too loud? And I said, no, I don't think it was. And he says, let me see your license and registration. And I said, okay, you know, here you go. And the cop goes, he goes, he says, I smell alcohol. He says, you been drinking? And I says, uh, I says, I can neither deny nor confirm. <laughs> and he didn't, like, he didn't like that at all. And he grabbed the door <laughs> and he says, what's up out of the car? And we did the, you know, the sobriety dance out in the middle of the street. Mm-hmm. And he says, uh, he says, look like you were walking around a little bit. He says, I'm going to have to take you down to the station. We're going to have to do the breathalyzer. You know, so I, you know, I went with him. And what happened to your car? Huh? What happened to your car? They left it there. Okay. Interesting. And they brought me down to the station. I got in the station. And the cop comes up to me. And he says, it's going to take about 20 minutes for this machine to warm up. Warm up? He says, uh, yeah. He goes, uh, he says, don't cough, don't clear your throat, you know, don't put your hands near your mouth or anything. He says, just sit there in the chair for about 20 minutes. And I said, well, no, I'm thinking that this should be all right. And another cop comes out of the, around the corner, he sets a chair in front of me, and, he, and he's sitting there for 20 minutes staring at me, you know? And then, you know, the the other cop says, all right, come on, we're going to do the test. And I said, oh, you know, he says, blow into his tube. He says, blow, 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 blow. And I was like, blow into the tube. And, you know, a few minutes later, the, the cop comes back and he says, I don't think the machine's working right. He says, we're going to have to go ahead and do the test again, you know. And I said, well, what was the result? And he said, well, it was just a little bit 
below, you know, the legal limit. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, do it again. Let's see if we can get you over that number. Yeah, I wonder, um, in this case, it seems very strange, I wonder... You wouldn't be refusing a breathalyzer at this point if you refused the second, the second breathalyzer. One. No, I didn't refuse it. I took one. So did you refuse? But, so anyways, you know, I had to sit there for another 20 minutes while this cop stared at me. I was getting really kind of annoyed after I'll 40 bet. minutes of staring at this guy. And so I took the test again, and the second time it came around, it was lower than the first time. That's how it's supposed to work. Okay. And so, you know, the, 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 the cop says, well, he says, he says, uh, you passed the test. He says, uh, he says, you have, he says, do you have somebody that you could call to come get you? What? And I <laughs> said, why do I got to have somebody call and get me? I says, I says, I passed all three of your tests. Yeah, take me and back to says, my damn well, car. You know, he says, well, even though you passed the test, he says, uh, we can't let you go because if you... You know, get hurt on the way home. He says, we're liable. Ridiculous. I don't believe that. No. I think that's a lie. It it also doesn't sound to me the description of what you just told us, sir, was I know how to beat the breathalyzer. And it sounds to me as though there was no special trick being done here. What you no. had described before <laughs> was you had a boiler maker, which is, to my understanding, a shot inside of a beer. Now, if you, were just <laughs> under the, uh, if you were just under the legal limit, it would seem to me you might have had maybe two of those or maybe even three. But uh, it doesn't sound to me like there was some special it's trick no to beating the breathalyzer here. This the, was, the way you beat the breathalyzer is, you know, you either uh, don't take it or you argue against it in court. It because it can story, be beaten though. in court. Yeah, I mean, it was a good story. I mean, it wasn't a technique on how anyone else could double the same experience. But uh, nonetheless, Robert, uh, how did you end up getting back to the car? Well, uh, the cop says, I have to have call, I'll call somebody to come get me. And I said, well, I don't have anybody I could call. I said, why don't you just take me back to my car or take me home? I said, I was almost there. And the cop says, well, uh, our insurance won't cover that. Well, well you should have thought of that before liable. you kidnapped me off the side of the highway. Right. So they wouldn't let they, – um, they are they were arguing that if they just let you walk away, that uh, that, yeah. that would be a problem? Yeah. That somehow so they're I, liable uh, if you walk out of the police station and walk down a sidewalk, but they're not liable if you walk out of the police station and then get into someone else's car who then drives you down the street? It's just ridiculous. Right. And so I couldn't, you know, find anybody to come get me. So I ended up, they brought me to the county jail. I was there for probably six <laughs> Unbelievable. Hours. Unbelievable. Now, what, why were you there for so long? Was it until you could reach someone or what? Oh, no, because you have to be there for a certain amount of time. Put them in a drunk tank. Up. They put them in a drunk you know, tank. So, that, you know so what, they, they protective custodied you even though you weren't drunk enough to, to be not driving. Exactly. You know, they've got, they've and, got, uh, the DWI laws can be funny in certain places. Like even in New York, as a matter of fact, if you're between, like, if you're from 0. 0.05 to like 0. 0.079, uh, well, if you're 0. 0.041 to 0. 0.079, that's actually like a violation. It's like, uh, it's like you could almost get like a ticket for it. So in some places they would say, even though you're, you know, if you're a 0. 0.079, you're under the 0. 0.08 limit, you're still, it's still not legal for you to drive. And they can even charge you with, uh, uh, driving while intoxicated, uh, even if you're below it, hmm. because they just feel that you're intoxicated. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just close enough. Robert, thanks for sharing your Matt's story Matt's trying tonight. to lower Appreciate the limit, it. too, by the way. Oh, yeah, they absolutely want to do we that. We'll go mean, to point zero six. Yeah, oh they'll, they'll take it down to 0. .04 if they get the opportunity. How they, many they, more they, these lives? people want it zero. They, look, the, will the, they ruin? Mothers against drunk driving is neo prohibitionist. These people want to ban alcohol. Oh, yeah. A lot of them, they're not screwing around. And you even talk to like you can look at Candace Leitner, who founded Mothers Against Drunk Driving. She she even said it. She's like, look, I made Mothers Against Drunk Driving to fight against drunk driving, not alcohol. Did the, the, she her own words is Mothers Against Drunk Driving has become far more neo prohibitionist than I ever intended it to be these people are out of control they have a serious agenda and it's not about saving lives anymore Uh, toll free number tonight is 855 450 free we've got nathan he's on the line via skype hello nathan in texas hello everyone hey what's on your mind well i wanted to try and offer a definition of cult that would uh fit with what you were talking about before because mark was arguing that they had to be religious and i don't i don't agree with that right so 
Um, the definition that I usually use of a cult is that it's a group of socially alienated people who, um, so there's three ingredients. There's a, it's a group of socially alienated people who are kind of united or adhere to some kind of artistic or some kind of idea. And that idea has to be promulgated by a, some kind of father figure or mother figure, like some kind of dear leader, if you will. Mm. So for example, you could consider the, in like, like I use the term really loosely. I would consider, for example, the, the Libertarian Party to have, orig- to have originally been a cult, but then it kind of got diluted, and now it's sort of a – it's kind of a mainstream conservative party now. I'm not I sure why – why would the Libertarian Party be a cult? Well, because it was started by, uh, you know, Nolan, right? And so he was the one promulgating the ideas. But every but that's not is really started. accurate. I mean, look, Nolan started it, was it but it was a group of people. Yeah, it was a committee of people, and he's often credited okay. with it. But it's I, – I don't know we if can I talk fit about, that definition. Do, yeah, we can talk about some, uh, some aspects of what makes something a cult here in a moment. And certainly we can look at the Libertarian Party. I've had some experience in it. Uh, Chris Campbell, you have as well. Certainly. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I have to agree, looking back on my experience in the Libertarian Party. I don't think I was involved in a cult. Um, we'll come back with more. You can share your thoughts here on Free Talk Live. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? Friends are family need heart work heart bypass in the u.s is over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars heart valve uh 175 asia run like hell guide.com announces a limited time promotional special heart bypass at ten thousand three hundred and heart valve at twelve nine with a typical 20 percent obamacare copay you can do the flights hotel surgery and goof off in a tropical paradise with money still in your pocket for well under the price of your copay asia run like hell guide.com This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Ovaltine. Give your kids the nutrition they need to be their best. Visit us at OvaltineUSA.com. Telling your child about healthy food choices is important, but showing her what to eat goes a lot further. Have her help create the grocery list, then bring her to the store with you. Picking out healthy foods together helps kids get in the habit of thinking about what they're eating every day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, August 27, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,286, silver opened at $19.46, and Bitcoin is trading around $513.06. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. In the news, on Sunday night, CNN interviewed a lawyer who claimed to have an audio recording at the August 9th shooting of Michael Brown by Officer Darren Wilson. Lopa Blumenthal said she's representing an unidentified man who lived near the incident and captured the audio. In the recording, a cluster of shots is heard, followed by silence. And then, another cluster of shots. Forensic audio expert Paul Ginsberg reportedly analyzed the recording and found 10 gunshots. Now here's an update from KVUE in Austin. Regarding a story the Liberty Beat has been following since the start, the Williamson County District Attorney's Office has dropped the first-degree felony charge filed against 19-year-old Jacob Lavaro. He's the Round Rock man who gained national attention for facing a potential life sentence in prison for making and selling pot brownies. 
Lavaro was charged with having nearly one and a half pounds of drugs with the intent to sell, a first-degree felony carrying a punishment of 10 years to life in prison. According to the arrest affidavit, officers weighed the brownies, which contained THC or hash oil. They also confiscated THC in a container. The Galt Gulch Project in Chile has recently come under fire. The project, run by Jeff Berwick and Ken Johnson, is designed to provide an escape of sorts for like-minded individuals seeking both community and a way out of the United States or other authoritarian regimes. The news of trouble in paradise breaks as Wendy McElroy, a prominent libertarian thinker, published an article discussing her experience with the project. She reports issues with water rights, building permits, mismanagement, and massive debt. She hopes to help become a part of the solution by shedding light on the issue. Her article, The Fate of Galt's Gold's Chile, can be found on the DailyBell.com. Be sure to read the comments for rebuttals and conversation between the founders. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, your local source for all things Bitcoin. Now hosting a Bitcoin ATM, located in Austin, Texas, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, BraveNewBookstore.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill, who has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoons at 4 on 1370 AM in Austin. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, August 27, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The Supreme Court is hearing a case that deals with the legality and punishment of online threats. The case is focused on the online rants of Anthony Alonis. He was indicted for talking about killing his ex-wife and law enforcement officers. Now, he argued that he didn't mean what he said. However, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that the government only needed to show that a reasonable person felt threatened from the comments. The Electronic Frontier Foundation, the Student Press Law Center, and the Pan American Center filed a brief asking the court to explain the decision. Historically, real-world threat convictions required proof that the person had intent rather than an individual just feeling threatened. On Monday, the Bureau of Reclamation in Sacramento, California, released water from the Trinity and Claymath Rivers in response to protests from community and tribal members in the area. Now, the tribes have argued that the Lewiston Dam was containing water that could save local fish populations who are facing death in low and warm water conditions. On August 19th, around 200 representatives from the Yurok, Hoopa Valley, Winneman, Wintu, and Karuk tribes gathered at the Boer offices demanding action. Following the protests, the Boer offices announced the changes and began to release the water on Saturday, August 23rd. The water will run continuously until September 14th. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Visit them at one of their two locations in Austin, Texas, 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande near the UT campus. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, August 27th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. After years of weekly meetings with his psychologist, local man Chris Vaughn told reporters today he was excited to only have two sessions left before completely resolving all of his emotional issues and never having the need to return to another therapy session again. When I started therapy, I knew if I could make it through exactly 120 50-minute sessions with Dr. Warner, then all of my issues with depression and crippling anxiety would be gone. Next week, we're covering my parents. The week after that, we're wrapping up my trust issues and then I should be good to go. According to Vaughn, it took 40 sessions alone to fully resolve his feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem resulting from an unhappy childhood. Vaughn's therapist, Dr. Susan Warner, told Onion reporters that she's pleased with her patient's progress and relieved that his longtime emotional and cognitive issues are nearly solved for good. I told him that getting healthy would take at least 100 hours of therapy, and now he'll never have to see me again. Thank God for that. That guy was a real piece of work. This is the Onion News Network.
This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want. Just dial toll-free. The number is 855-450-FREE, and that number is brought to you by ProXPN. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. The us includes tonight me, Ian. Chris. And Mark. Chris is here courtesy of his website, ChristopherCantwell.com. Your most recent video, Chris, is uh, kind of an unusual twist on the Ice Bucket Challenge. Yeah, so uh, I actually published, this is not on my YouTube channel, uh, Josie the Outlaw published, uh, and I uh, created a new YouTube channel, Brutalist Media Productions, and uh, (laughs) and we released our our first video was... uh, the the white T-shirt ice bucket challenge and That's right. however there's a That's little been bit done of a, before yeah so so the, the the ice bucket challenge if you're not already familiar uh, you folks at home and in your cars and whatnot is uh, people are challenged to either dump a bucket of ice water on their head or donate money to uh, this foundation for like ALS research ALS being Lou Gehrig's disease like a neurodegenerative disorder isn't the idea that if you dump the bucket then you don't have to give as much money well it's either it, the the challenge is either donate some money or dump a bucket of ice water on your head and put it on YouTube. So that being, gotcha. and then the idea is like, all right, if you do the, uh, if you if you do the ice bucket, then you know, uh, you know, challenge three other people to do it, and this is like a viral marketing strategy to and raise some money. And it's and it has, it's it's raised like over forty two million dollars last we checked. And so you know, we decided to uh, instead of an ice bucket, we the the twist is. I don't know if I, I want to give you it should away. Give the twist away. It's a good twist, and you can see it. There's a white T-shirt involved. Yeah, and, and jo- and, Josie, she's not an unattractive lady indeed uh, josie is easy on the eyes and you can see that video at christophercantwell.com i think go. it'll be the second or third post down because i got a couple of podcasts up also there. reposted to both freekeen and stopfreekeen.com stop freekeen faked it up <laughs> yeah. I, I gotta go see what they said about it that's funny and normally when stop freekeen puts something up they use the do not there's some sort of website called do not link i hate that, that lets them don't, strip out don't uh, ever mention that again i don't want people to know about that website yeah, it's a terrible site um but they can't do that with a youtube video they can't they can't prevent someone from incrementing your youtube views with right. that website so <laughs> uh so anyway the toll-free number tonight put eight, a couple of bucks in my pocket thank yeah, you stop thanks, freaking stop freaking 855 450 freeze the toll-free number here tonight we've got nathan he is on the line in texas by the way our skype username which is how nathan is connected is lrn.fm uh, go ahead nathan you were talking about cults uh, you actually suggested that you believe the libertarian party is a cult now were you Was. ever in right and I'm I'm sorry I, I retract that I I was mistaken. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say because uh, so. d- I've you know I've been involved with the Libertarian Party and it does not meet uh, the criteria for uh, for cults. Not, not I don't think it meets very many of them at, at all. And of course, so. there's different criteria for what what you consider to be a cult and not all cults have the same factors i guess i think i think the definition of a cult in common parlance is the group of people who you disagree with (laughs) yeah that's what i think um i I just think it's a you know it's an overused un uh, unuseful word oh i disagree with you well i certainly go ahead nathan i I agree that that's why i don't use it as a pejorative I, i try to use it in this clinical sense that i'm trying to argue for here and the motivation for this definition that I'm, I'm t- telling you is that I came to the ideas of liberty through objectivism and Ayn Rand. And right at the beginning, uh, there was this, this, this issue that Ayn Rand sort of running a cult. And so she's not running um, it. She's I, dead. But there are definitely well, some right. people who are very culty about Ayn Rand. So I think that there's a, a distinction between a cult and a cult of personality. And I think that what you're talking about with, you know, Ayn Rand and debatably with Stefan Molyneux, is a cult of personality. Yes, I can see why somebody might want to shorten that down, but I think that there's really a distinction because I think a a cult brings to mind religious adherence. Well, what about the cult of the omnipotent state? As far as I'm concerned, I think that there's an argument that could be made that it that, is a religion, that the state is in fact a religion, that it has icons, that people believe of, you know, supernatural things about it, that uh, you know, it has well, a, a certain aspect of uh, ancestor worship with the founding fathers, and how many people have died for this flag? Ancient you know, like, documents and whatnot. You know, they've yeah. got ancient documents. They've got the whole thing. Chanting. They've got chanting. Yeah, lots of that. They're definitely chanting. And, and a lot of those things are signs of cults. There's some chanting, chanting fools. Nathan, final right. thoughts. Go ahead. Well, I like this definition of a cult because it does, uh, and I, I guess you can call it a cult of personality too. I think it drives the heart of uh, of the of what's dangerous, what's uh, you know, what should you watch out for, and uh, you know, people who are socially isolated who adhere to some kind of unconventional idea 
and adore a father figure, you know, I think I think these are important signs that you need to look for. They are. Um, absolutely. There's three of the yeah. more important ones, but there are others. And I thank you, Nathan, for your call tonight. Again, you can uh, hook up with us on Skype like he did at username lrn.fm. Just send a contact request. It will be approved. Now, there are a lot of different articles and news stories and websites about cults and so people have been researching cults and there's a certain factors that are worth looking at to determine whether or not the group that you are involved with or your loved one is involved with is or is not a cult um, and you know some cults are more dangerous than others uh, that much is certainly true so uh, let's jump into this this is from csj.org this is the characteristics associ associated with cultic groups revised uh, so, here we go. The group displays excessive, zealous, and unquestioning commitment to its leader, whether he is alive or dead, regards his belief system, ideology, and practices as the truth, as law. Every yeah. single government and religion that has ever existed. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And, of course, uh, one of the arguments, if you're going to accept Marx's claim that all cults are religious, then uh, the, the big difference between a cult and a religion is the number of members and how long they've been around. Oh, I've, that's why I think it's an unuseful uh, you know, term. It's, you know, what's the difference between Christianity and a cult or Islam and a cult or any major religion and a cult? I don't see one. I think the cult is a pejorative term. And by that, I mean that pejorative terms can certainly often be true terms mm -hmm. right yep. but that you use but the, the way that they're used they have connotations to them that the very use of them makes the you know the uh, the application of them makes uh, you know points out something bad so for instance it is not inaccurate to call a black man an n-word it is however a pejorative term right uh, yeah, I would say that's inaccurate because it's a insulting term. It's not descriptive at all. Well, it depends Indeed. on who's saying it, I guess, right? I mean, you know, if, if uh, people use the N-word on the, on the street all the time, and depending on your skin color, you might get away with it or you might get your head cracked open. Uh, but there are plenty of people who would point out, I, you know, if they are black, that they would not accept that they are the N-word. So it is completely inaccurate. Have you what, ever, have uh, you ever watched, cases. like, Cat Williams or any rap song ever? Yeah, sure. and I also, some people will accept it, but I, not all of them. What will. I don't see you doing is going, turning to your computer and taking away and trying to find the definition of that word, because you know what the definition of that word is, mm -hmm. and that it, it would be accurate. It is pejorative, and that's what I believe cult is. It may be accurate in its application. At do you times, have a better word to pejorative. describe a creepy group of people that uh, surrounds a charismatic leader and devotes to him their time, their money, their effort, to the point where they are willing to uh, to completely shut out loved ones, family members, and friends uh, to their own detriment uh, ostensibly? Is there a shorter or better term, perhaps, besides cult to describe that? I'd love to hear your non-pejorative term that sums all that up. Go right ahead. Uh, exclusive group? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really have the same ring as cult because you could have an Indeed, exclusive cult's group. cult's pejorative. No, cult is a descriptive term that encompasses all of the descriptions I just gave you. Exclusive group could mean any club. Exclusive group could mean any group of people meeting for any purpose, not to exalt some sort of uh, centralized leader who is this godlike character with all knowingness. But if, but if we're, if we're going to go ahead and think of it as a negative thing and you are necessarily thinking of it as a negative thing if you're saying, you know, they're doing this to their detriment, right? You're it's saying not that this is, if, if they're doing this to their detriment, and then we're calling it a cult, we're saying, okay, here's this pejorative term because I don't like what's happening here. It's a, it's my preference would be that people did not do this to their perceived detriment, right? So mm -hmm. I have a I have a disagreement with the way that this is going, and so I'm going to lob the term cult at it, like people do to you. Right. Mm -hmm. People don't people disagree with uh, your, your politics or your uh, ideology. And so they say, right. well, they don't want to have a of people over here is a cult. Right. And they could say it like, I mean, people are, uh, uh, you know, uh, kicked out of the KAC and let back into the KAC. And who's the cool kid on the block today? And who's got to take a break from the community? I mean, this happens. Right. And and so it's this group of people with these rules and ideas. And, you know, yeah, but there's some very common things among cults, like having a charismatic leader. The case he doesn't have that. We're until, all Ian's minions, haven't you heard? Well, again, people can make claims, but that's not true. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-453, whereas with cults, there definitely are charismatic leaders. I'm Chuck Woolery. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. 
It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use a whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want. Toll-free numbers, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. And, of course, you can join Chris Cantwell on his website, ChristopherCantwell.com. Don't forget about modup.net. In fact, if you need focus and are feeling fatigued and trying to get the extra edge when it counts, look into modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, 
fighting off fatigue and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about Modafinil from ModUp.net and how it's making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge they need. It's affordable for everyone to take advantage of the benefits of Modafinil on ModUp.net by them being 80 to 85% lower in price than the brand name. But uh, don't mistake uh, don't mistake the low prices for inferior quality. They ensure that purity and potency are consistent to that of the branded version. Now remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and ModUp.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. So visit ModUp.net and pay with Bitcoin to get a 33% discount. To make the deal even better, use code FTL, and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. So again, don't forget code FTL at ModUp.net for world-class service at a great price on Modafinil, M-O-D-U-P, modup.net. As we continue here, there's uh, you know some a large level of discussion going on within the liberty movement about Stefan Molyneux, which has led into a discussion about cults. Some say he is uh, he's not leading a cult, and you know it may not be his intention to lead a cult. And I'm not saying that he is, uh, but there are certainly some things that, as our caller earlier pointed out some things about the group of Stefan Molyneux supporters or fans out there that seem a little bit culty. And uh, sometimes when certain things happen in people's lives and they get caught up in these things, they do end up cutting off their friends and family members. Now, this is one of the more controversial things that Stefan Molyneux supposedly advocates is the uh, this sort of idea of removing oneself from one's family of origin if indeed they are abusive. Now, that makes sense to me, right? That's what the supporters of Stefan Molyneux will say. Oh, he only says that if it's an abusive relationship with your family, meaning physically or mentally abusive. Now, that makes sense. If, you, you know, if your family's beating you physically... It doesn't make sense to show up for Thanksgiving dinner next year. Well, but at the same time, I mean, the the definition of abusive relationship is basically anybody who believes in the state, right? So if you believe well, in that's the, the question. If right? you believe in the war on drugs and and uh, and I smoke marijuana, then what you're really saying is that I should be kidnapped at gunpoint and thrown in a cage with violent and dangerous people, and that is. You know, an abusive, an abusive thing. thing. But are we to then, you know, uh, eliminate everybody from our lives who believes that way? And if we do that, are we really going to be doing a very good job of spreading our ideas? Yeah, exactly. And and the other thing that I want to point out about it is that he basically says that your relationship with like your parents is your like just as the same as any other adult relationship, and that's absolutely not the case because obviously most of your adult relationships did not wipe your butt and feed you and house you for any you know up to eighteen plus years of your life you know mm-hmm. it's not it's not the same as an adult relationship and i do i do think that there's um a certain uh, disregard for for a lot of things there and it's something that people should take into greater consideration but he takes a radical point of view and people are supposed to be able to figure it out for themselves but that's one of the common signs of you might be in a cult if you're encouraged to leave your family and your friends it's one of those things we're encouraged to leave our family and friends and move to new hampshire that's not a cult. But that doesn't mean – it's not necessarily yeah, – The Free it's State not, Project has a president, Carla no, 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 Garrick. Are we not, following Carla down the road to the Ian's the leader of the Kool-Aid? Free State Project if you really listen to these folks. Well, some people said so I pot actually called the kettle the, black here, buddy. What are you talking about? <laughs> pretty soon you're going to be releasing the truth about the Keen Activist Center. No, definitely not. <laughs> Um, and I was going to respond to something you said, and I was completely, uh, I've completely spaced on it. I, I, I was talking about the the Free State Project. Like, let's if I if I try to make the Free State Project a cult, and I say, well, people are encouraged oh. to move away and come to a place they leave their friends yeah, and family and pets and not career the same behind. Thi- hold on, that's not the same thing as shutting yourself off from your friends and family. It's one thing, you know, if you go and you've got a job somewhere and you move to somewhere job, else, probably the, not a cult, right? For the job. <laughs> Uh, you know, you've left your friends and family behind because your life is more important and doing what's important for you is 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 what you want to do. But you can still talk to them on the phone. You can still reach out to them on Facebook or whatever other methods you have to communicate with those people. Just because, you know, people physically move somewhere doesn't mean they're disconnecting themselves from everybody that they care about. You know, That's unless they don't believe in your for. magnetic mattress business model, at which point, you know, now you've got to cut them off. I'm telling you, man, they, <laughs> I remember them talking about that in Network Market. I really remember them suggesting that if your friends don't want to join up, then you should just hang out with us. And that's a very cult thing to do. 
to yeah. try to separate an individual from their support network, their classic support networks. It's okay to join a new group of friends, but if that group of friends starts telling you that all of your other friends are bad and all of your family is bad and that you should stay away from them all the time and only hang out with your new friends— you might be in a cult. But like, what does your life come to if you're just listening, if you're going to cut your family off because somebody on YouTube told you to, right? If you just like watched a YouTube video of a guy who was like, hey, you should ostracize your family and you're like, well, screw you, mom and dad, I'm moving out. I imagine it's usually after watching a few YouTube videos, but yeah, that, there are people who've done that. Yeah, you know, and I mean, if they've made that decision to do that, then they've made that decision to do that and it might be bad advice, but and does that make it a cult? I don't think so. That, yes, yes, this is a classic sign that some but he is in a cult. Also, um, you know, Stefan just posted on his Facebook today. He's like, I don't advise people to, uh, you know, to break up with their families. Oh, really? I give them, uh, you know, I make suggestions. They act upon it. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, suggestions well, and advice are, I think, the same thing. <laughs> that's not what the okay. guy who just Let me called go read in it here just last a hour, if, who was on the inner circle, as it was described, of the Stefan Molyneux podcast, all right. he says that basically on the inner circle, it's made pretty clear that all parents are abusive and that all parents are bad and that you should disconnect yourself from them. So there's you know the public face of what's supposedly said in public, and then there's the, you know, more realistic what's actually being said during the during the break uh, a gentleman was in here and he said uh, that you know he also says that there were no doctors in you know the 14 no good doctors in the 14th century right so I mean if uh, if he told you hey don't go to the guy who's going to do bloodletting to cure your cancer or he's mm -hmm. going to tell you not to go to the guy who's going to put leeches on you you know I think that's good advice you know back then right if you're dealing with a situation where doctors are, are quacks and not providing a good service just because a better service does not yet exist doesn't mean that you should go and have them slit your wrist. Well, right? okay, so but remember the caller we had on earlier who was on the in inner circle of Stefan Molyneux, he said that one of the reasons why he finally left the group, which he didn't describe as a cult, he said it had some cult aspects. Right. He said the reason why he finally left the group was because it didn't improve his relationships. He had taken the advice, this wonderful advice that the world's been waiting, you know, thousands of years for or something, that he's taken the advice, he applied it, or did his best, presumably, to apply that advice to his relationships and he still had some crappy relationships. Well, it didn't solve the problem. Of course it did, because the idea, look, I mean, there's there's some bad ideas over at Free Domain Radio. I think that universally preferable behavior is a nice idea, but it's not the way the world works right now. So if you're going to try and, you know, live the, live the even just the non-aggression principle, much less universally preferable behavior with other people around you, and all of a sudden you realize, hey, these people don't prefer the same behavior as me, <laughs> Surprise. then let's not be surprised when <laughs> things don't work out. And that's why you should think objectively, uh, think critically, and go right. about your own business. And by the way, when people move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, they're encouraged to integrate into the community, not cloister themselves off. That's true. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Genesis is defined as an origin, creation, or the beginning. Genesis Communications Network began with the mission of providing you with the kind of compelling content you're listening to now. And at GCNlive.com, you'll find a free archive of our nation's history, narrated by GCN hosts. Explore, share, and pass down to future generations. GCN is the future of talk radio. But we should always strive to learn from our past. Together, we are GCNlive.com. GCN. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, walk I'm with comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 who do you think Excuse you are? Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is, you ain't gonna make, wait a minute, now, wait a minute. Holy crap, you gotta throw it. Whoa. Hey! Oh my god, unbelievable. Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? 
Democrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com are you a sneezer? If you're not, can you get close to one? I don't literally mean someone sneezing. Sneezer, as defined by marketing guru Seth Godin, is an opinion leader. When a sneezer mentions something, other people catch what Godin calls the idea virus. Seth Godin says some people are more likely to tell their friends about a great new idea. So identifying and courting sneezers is a key success factor for idea merchants. His book, Unleashing the Idea Virus, is the most downloaded ebook in history, and you can download the whole book free. That's how he's making his idea contagious. Click tips, tricks, and other stuff to help you cut through the clutter at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. All you have to do is dial in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. Maybe you've been involved in a cult. Of course, if you're in a cult today, you probably don't realize it. It's usually one of those things that you look back on later on and say, oh, yeah, that fits that description. Uh, so if you want to tell us your story, you're welcome to do so. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can join us online at freetalklive.com, and of course... You need to know how to get Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin a cult? No, there's no leader whatsoever with Bitcoin. It's completely decentralized. No one even knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is, although I suppose some sort of cult could develop around so Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, maybe there is one. I don't even know. But uh, Bitcoin as a whole is... The cult a, of the blockchain. Yeah. Bitcoin as a whole is an amazing technology that is being accepted by companies as large as Dell Computer Wikipedia, for instance, and companies as small as maybe your Main Street corner store like we've got here in Keene. You might have seen Derek J. walking around in the background here. Uh, he's got a fancy new haircut he got at a downtown hair salon that takes Bitcoin here in Keene. Pretty cool stuff. So Bitcoin's amazing. You can get some for yourself by going to ExpressCoin.com. Not only can you get Bitcoins, but you can get Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, and Darkcoin. And you can now do it from Canada, all at ExpressCoin.com. Plus, maybe you're new to Bitcoin and you've never bought any before and you want to get a small amount. You, If you get less than $40 worth of Bitcoin or any of those other altcoins at ExpressCoin.com, there is no... You have to use our coupon code. There's no transfer fee. Coupon code is FTL. Now, normally, if you're doing more than $40 worth at ExpressCoin.com, it's a 3% fee, which is a very reasonable fee. In fact, the best I've ever seen in the business of exchanging one currency to another. Uh, but go to ExpressCoin.com. Again, your first $40 worth is free if you use code FTL. Now, you have to spend the 40 bucks, but I mean it's free as in they don't charge you a fee. At ExpressCoin.com. By the way, you can uh, use money order, check, wire transfer, even cash deposit. Great ways to get Bitcoin into your Bitcoin wallet, which you can get one of those for free 
by going to blockchain.com and downloading their free Bitcoin wallet software. Every time you list all the different cryptocurrencies, I, I think of the Overkill coin video. Have you seen this? No, but it sounds very entertaining. It's 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 hysterical. I would encourage people who are listening in front of their computers, or if you will be in front of your computer, go check it out later. Overkill coin, and they go into all the different spinoffs that they go and cannibalize oh, so the other ridiculous. coins. And, <laughs> so, and by the way, I did not name all of the other altcoins. There's hundreds of them, and I only named four of them. Right, but so. you know, a bunch of people, uh, you know, thought, hey, hey, this Bitcoin thing, I'm going to get on this from the beginning, so I'll compile it myself and just like change <laughs> the name of it, and then there'll be a whole new blockchain. Sucker that I coin. Can... <laughs> Sucker coin. Let's go to Chris listening in Clearwater, because a lot of people, I think, have lost a lot of money on those uh, altcoins out there. Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. I know. The other Chris hi, in Clearwater. Hi, hi gentlemen. Well, uh, the former Cult Awareness Network, I don't agree with a lot of their characteristics of a cult. I mean, I don't agree with a lot of their actions, uh, like uh, kidnapping people from Scientology, for example. But I do agree with their uh, characteristics of a cult, including things like uh, the leaders saying they have a special relationship with God, et cetera, et cetera, if anybody wants to check that out. And but Stefan Molyneux been... says there's no God. So. Indeed. Again, not all cults are religious, despite what Mark says. Right. Well, on that, Stefan and I would disagree, but that's fine. And uh, so, you know, you want to label somebody, uh, you, <laughs> if you're going to be a cult, you better do it all the way. And um, I've really called in to say, though, that uh, the world would be a better place if, if honest folks would shun their dishonest relatives rather than enabling them and wasting their own time and giving them emotional support. Oh, I totally agree with that. I think that uh, the pe there's a certain viewpoint that because someone's related by blood that you owe them something in this world, and that right. I just don't understand. I mean, if you've got somebody who's right. abusing you, I don't care who they are. It makes sense to cut. cut I, I don't know. Now, now, Chris in uh, Clearwater, Florida, is now saying that uh, he disagrees that there's no God, and he's encouraging people to shun their family members. Is Chris in Clearwater, Florida? Are you the leader of a cult? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> he is in Clearwater, Florida, which is the home base of the yeah. Church of Scientology. Uh oh. Oh, I am, but I'm not a Scientologist. No, never. <laughs> you know, but you know, it's good to talk about things that you agree with them on. I mean, I agree that Scientologists are great for uh, how psychiatric medicine is overprescribed, but uh, mm -hmm. no, I mean, I, I ask about L. Ron Hubbard. Well, you know, his special relationship with the deity, whatever he considers that to be, or Xenu, the alien who uh, who interfered in world history allegedly. Well, how who audited L. Ron Hubbard? That's what I would like to know, you know. Yeah. But um, that's what I asked the Scientologists, and they can never answer that. Of course. But uh, what I would really like to point out, though, is that uh, I had to separate from my family uh, because um, I have a psychopathic brother who uh, framed me three times. He's a Jeez. confidential informant. And uh, you know, caused me to be wow. arrested, falsely arrested three times, and and uh, subsequently uh, charged, and uh, got those charges uh, mostly dismissed. But um, you know, I, he would talk with the ear off of my late parents, who uh, who supported and enabled him to attack others like myself. So I don't take it personally. But he ended up stealing their life savings, as I uh. had warned them. He was uh, planning to do. He felt he was entitled to. And, uh, you know, and really um, it was because mostly he would withheld, withhold his uh, two sons as their, my parents' grandkids over the heads of our parents. Sure. I'll never you let know. you see them again if you don't. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. If you don't believe that uh, Chris is, you know, or the, uh, that I'm a two-headed monster <laughs> who, uh, you know, eats babies for breakfast. and But yeah. I really, you know, I, I, there was a lot of healing involved, you know, how could you do this to me? I'm your son. Why would you want to expose me to a uh, prison or, you know, possibility of prison, at least a jail and, uh, you know, things like that. But, um, uh, you know, it, it taught me, though, uh, a valuable lesson of how confidential informants operate, that they'll sell out. And, Anybody. Uh, yes. No doubt about it. Chris, thanks for your call, man. I'm glad you're all right today. Appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to John. He's in Charleston, West Virginia, listening to WVTS. Hey, John. Hey, man. Uh, if you're talking about cults, I think you got to look at Fight Club. At Fight, Fight Club? Club? The uh, the Chuck, I don't know how you pronounce his last name, Pollock Hook. Uh, the Brad Pitt movie. Book? Yeah. yeah. I think it's important that we not talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what about right. it? 
right? First rule of Fight Club, right? Right. And the second. Uh, and you're breaking them both well, right I now, mean, pal. I hear you. Um, right. No, he, he goes to all these uh, self-help things like AA and uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, he goes to all these groups, and he kind of preys on all these people and gets to know them, and then all of a sudden they're uh, destroying uh world finance and everything i mean it, it really kind of uh, sped up there at one point didn't it wow this is you know like the, you getting together drinking a little popping each other in the the face or the gut that it, it held a certain allure to me it's cer- certainly in my 20s but you know <laughs> the rest of it's like wow this sped up yeah that escalated quickly you just go you know, have a little uh, boxing club and then we're going to blow up some buildings yeah when your charismatic leader is talking to himself that might be the sign that you're involved in something a little bit or weird. that your charismatic leader is just a lunatic cuz i mean i don't know i'd say some of these like aa and self help group things are like culty in a oh, lot of yeah. ways you know well, got, aa is very religious based and uh, the AA's higher a power you got to give yourself over to your higher power Right, and that you don't have any control over yourself, no, right? Isn't you have no control say? over yourself. You have to come to the group and rely on the group and have a sponsor. And John, any other thoughts on Fight Club? Go ahead. Uh, no, I just I, I think it's really kind of funny. Like he he really kind of understands like uh, his his alternate personality is trying to drive this guy into the ground, and you know he's like whenever you have nothing then you're free, you know? Like, it's true. You have nothing I, to I lose. Thanks, John, for the call. Right. I appreciate yeah. hearing from you. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. A bunch of people were going to move down to Chile. This is the story we touched on in the very beginning of the show tonight. We never really got into it. The fate of Galt's Gulch, Chile. We will share from the Dollar Vigilante blog at dollarvigilante.com, which is one of the groups that was pushing Galt's Gulch, Chile. So. Yep. Clearly, things have changed a little bit down there. We'll find out what allegedly happened here in moments. The toll-free number, 855-453. If you were involved in Galt's Gulch, Chile, and you want to give us the inside scoop beyond what we're about to share, please do. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Hi everyone, I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn. And you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. Healthy elimination is essential to high energy, a cheerful mood, and prevention of disease. Some of the founders of our modern holistic health thinking state that disease begins in a toxic colon. A toxic intestinal tract is the foundation for virtually all degenerative disease. And a clean and well-moving intestinal tract is the foundation of health. I just want to say that you folks have an amazing product. I've taken whey protein products for years, and I've never noticed the results I have with your product. I've suffered with thoughts of constipation most of my life. Within a few days of taking One World Whey, I know noticed a dramatic change. Also, in the past few years, I've experienced symptoms associated with diabetes. I feel horrible when I've had too much sugar, and I've been getting the foot pain as well. But I've noticed in the past week or so, I'm not feeling bad anymore, and the foot pain is gone. I'm just finishing up a five-pound tub I ordered and just got off the phone ordering more. I love your product. Thank you. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. Free Talk Live. Oh, if only everyone were to behave in the way I think they should behave, humanity would be better off. Again, it's just trying to impose one's vision on others. You can't be humane to others by being inhumane in the first place. And by forcing them to behave or do things that you want them to do or think in the way that you want them to think, that's inhumane. You're not respecting their choices as a free, sovereign individual. 
And that's what liberty is all about. You respect the rights of others to live their lives, even in self-destructive ways that you think are a bad choice, so that in turn, you have the right to live your life in any way that you choose. That's what it's all about. And as soon as you violate that, as soon as you take a step into the world of initiating force on others, then anything's game. You validated that it's okay to use force to get your way as far as changing other people's behavior. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Every day you make investment decisions. When you do business with and hold U.S. dollars, you make an investment in the soundness of the moral philosophy and the potential longevity of the United States hegemony. People who claim a monopoly on violence around the world. If this is the investment that you want to make, please keep listening to LRN.FM. If not, stop using their currency. Use bitcoins. Get educated. We use coins.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live's call-in lines are brought to you by ProXPN. It's a virtual private network, and it's global. They encrypt your data, meaning that before your information reaches your Internet service provider, it's encrypted. Therefore, your ISP no longer will know what you're doing online as soon as you start using ProXPN software, which you can download. Download for free right now by going to proxpn.com slash FTL. Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices. There's uh, ProXPN software for all of you. Linux users, setup's a little bit different, but you can easily get it to work with Linux as well. By the way, your internet service provider may be snooping on you and recording everything you do. Every website you visit, every search term you enter for, as, in some cases, as long as five years. So, again, you can stop that from happening by going to proxpn.com slash FTL. When you're ready to upgrade to their premium account for unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access, the ability to privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites, you can do that by going to uh, proxpn.com slash FTL and then using promo code FTL50, which gives you 50% off the price of the annual account, which breaks the price down to about $5 per month. And that is, by the way, good for the lifetime of the account. That's not some introductory offer. Use code FTL50, you get 50% off for as long as you have the account. Again, that's the annual account price. You want a better deal? Use code FTLBTC, like Bitcoin, and you'll get 62% off that annual account. So it's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use code FTL50 if you're buying with your credit card, or FTLBTC if you're doing Bitcoin, and get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. Uh, so let's continue here from the Dollar Vigilante blog. This is Wendy McElroy. She's a fairly well-known within the Liberty Movement author. Uh, Jeff Berwick is one of the main guys over at Dollar Vigilante. He's been to the Porcupine Freedom Festival also. He has a fairly popular blog. And so Galt's Gulch was one of these sort of competitors sort of to the Free State Project, but it could really only attract a certain kind of person, the kind of person who had money to spend. Because... Your average person can't just throw all their stuff in the car and drive down to Chile. You could. I don't think anybody could throw their stuff in the car and drive down to Chile. Yeah, so you know, there's going to be some money involved in making a move around the world. It costs money to move anywhere, but it costs more uh, to move internationally, especially to buy property internationally. Anyway, many have wondered about the status of Galt's Gulch Chile, the libertarian community that was planned and sold in lots on a liberty or as a liberty oasis for those who wish to live freedom before they died. 
My husband and I purchased an option on 1.25 acres in July of 2013. Others bought 10 or 25 acre lots, and some invested in the agricultural side of the venture. Extremely savvy investors committed small fortunes. Uh, Galt's Gulch, Chile has been an unexpectedly wild ride since then. Shortly after purchasing, I received an unsigned email through the web form of a site I maintained. It informed me that Galt's Gulch, Chile was a fraud. One reason? They say that it lacked water rights. In Chile, purchasing surface land and water rights are two separate processes. Uh, Galt's Gulch, Chile crazy. <laughs> is desert terrain, rather like California, and water rights are absolutely necessary for a community to be established. I responded to the email, but the, but the message bounced back to me, she said. I did a search for the IP address, and it became apparent that the sender had used an anonymizer. I forwarded the email to the two joint owners of Galt's Gulch Chile, Jeff Berwick and Ken Johnson. Jeff was and still is a trusted friend. I did not know Ken, however. My inquiry was not hostile, but it stirred quite a reaction from Ken. They immediately recognized the store, a source as a former employee who had threatened to tell people like me about the problem if they didn't pay him hush money. Uh, she says, a fast forward through many unpleasant details. The man was paid off. Galt's Gulch Chile acquired more land, which had water rights that were both attached and transferable. The Galt's Gulch Chile celebration was held in November 2013. The alleged purpose was for people to finalize the selection of lots and other paperwork. No selection took place because no zoning permits had been obtained. A Galt's Gulch Chile, which seems kind of funny for Galt's Gulch to obtain zoning permits. Isn't Galt's Gulch the idea of getting away from the government or something like that? Well, I've never read Atlas we Shrugged. We have I... zoning laws here, too. What does that mean? You mean in Chile? I mean I mean in New Hampshire, in lots of parts of New Hampshire. I mean, you sure, can't, I'm not claiming this is I Galt's Gulch, though, I can't right? drill for oil in Keene. Isn't Galt's Gulch supposed to be like some sort of liberty place though i mean it's it's a nickname that they assign yeah. to their project and it's you know <laughs> right. it's not it's not the Get mythical place where john yep. galt moves his right. hand on a rock and says a name and the right. lights and blah, blah, blah. this is as uh, petty and a superficial critique of galt's gulch as free state project you can't have a free state i'm never gonna move you for the free have state a free project state. but totally but legitimate critique it is not a totally legitimate yes, it critique. is it is it's an oxymoron the term the free round state Square project. Yes, it's a name, people. Yeah. So going on. You know here. what? You know what makes libertarians so gosh darn fun? Pe you know their pedantry with the mm. way they stick on words and they just won't shut up about well, it. It's anyway, just an the idea. zoning permits hadn't been obtained, so they couldn't select their lots. The celeb another celebration was held this April with my husband and, and I in attendance. She says she was the opening speaker and has made no money from the project other than her speaking fee. The alleged purpose was for people to finalize the selection of lots and other paperwork. No selection took place, however, because no zoning permits had been obtained. Unbeknownst to most purchasers, dramatic changes had occurred behind the scenes. Through maze-like transfers of cash and authority, Jeff Berwick was shoved out of the project and Ken Johnson remained in control. She says, I've sorted out most of the obfuscating tangle, and I may soon be writing a history of the labyrinthine matter. For the moment, suffice it to say, there is a basis for various lawsuits, and some are being pursued. There will be no zoning for the 1.25-acre lots or other arrangements of less than 10 acres. Uh, Galt's Gulch, Chile is an environmentally protected area, and it would take the political movement of heaven and earth to allow a community based on small lots to be officially approved. I had the opportunity to ask a question of the salesman who showed my husband and me our property. She puts that in quotes. I claimed uh, claimed it because I fell head over heels for the most beautiful tree I'd ever seen. I felt an instant connection as though the two of us were old souls who'd found each other. I could believe it. I could see it. Waking up each morning and having coffee under that tree and I love this tree part. Telling it about my plans <laughs> for the, the hell day. Out of me. Months later, in a Skype conference, I asked the then sales the then. Uh, Galt's Gulch alienated salesman when you sold us the property and she's putting sold in quotes when you printed out a photo from your phone that read Wendy's tree did you know you could not legally sell us the lot you were offering he said that is correct I suppose there's some comfort in being fleeced in good company in being in the company of some of the smartest businessmen in the movement I'm not reassured Perhaps it's because I'm an Irish peasant and what reassures me is owning the land under my feet. Uh, so she goes on. She says that something reassuring has been happening. The founding fathers have been trying to purchase all the rights to Galt's Gulch Chile and to reboot 
and who knows what's going to become of that. What's not revealed in this story is how much they spent on this and whether they'll have any chance at seeing any of it come back to them in the future. The the, the thing well, that I'm hearing here is that like she got a picture of a tree and gave somebody a bunch of money. This sounds to me like somebody didn't do their due diligence. It does sound like like caveat emptor, right? But there's like, a lot of people who are involved, and let's not forget, they're still there on site at uh, Galt's Galt's Chili. They've got about 12 people there as I, uh, you know, I've been talking to uh, the guy who's putting up Fort Gulch, which is the hotel that's supposed to be on on site. It's a different project entirely, mm-hmm. uh, and and I didn't realize this was name. on desert uh, land. Well, I, California is a desert. What do you mean by desert? Oh, it's just I mean, she, she's got a big I've, old tree there, and I don't, you know. Yeah. I've gone to the website. I've seen the pictures of the rolling hills. I wouldn't call it lush, mm. but I wouldn't call it a desert either. So what you're saying is, Mark, this is still going. It. Uh, yeah, what I, happened I, with her lot, though? I don't know what happened with her lot. Right. I think that they're, they're still trying to get – one thing's for clear. They're still trying to get zoning. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't imagine anybody knows what's going to happen. But I think that uh, what she's trying to do is advise people that uh, – Look out. Know, what's that? Look out. Yeah, well, they, they are clear – that they don't yet have zoning for this stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've read the website, okay. and they're clear. Um, I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, and I don't think any of us know what's going to happen. You're dealing with governments, and that's one of the things about Apparently, these... you may be dealing with scam artists as well, well I'm if gonna, her claims hold, are true. Hold, hold on a second. Now, if they're saying on the website that they don't have the zoning, and Wendy's complaint is that they don't have the zoning, then this goes back to doing your due diligence. Mm-hmm. Before you go and you buy a plot of land where you are being informed that they don't have the zoning, then you can't turn around and accuse somebody of scamming you when you find out that they don't have the zoning. You're right about that. The we front don't know page what of the she website, was told, this though. is not a secret. Though. We don't know if that was on the page of the website when she bought. We don't know what they were, well, what information they were given. One She's thing you knew is that you, you were getting lawsuit. into a new project, right? Yeah. I mean, this isn't buying in at Celebrationville in, in Disney World. Mm-hmm. This is a, a bunch of white people moving to Chile um, in order to create a freedom enclave. There's going to be How some How do you know things- they're all white people? They're marketing in the United States and Canada. I'm not saying they're all white people. I said a bunch. Um, they're, and they're American libertarians. You know what? I'd like to check. <laughs> Let's just go. Well, maybe we can uh, find out the uh, the ethnic uh, varieties of them. I don't are. really care, personally. Uh, we'll Apparently, you do. You asked the question. In the meantime, it made it sound like it was some sort of separatist thing, and I don't think that's the intention at all. Uh, see you tomorrow. Free Talk Live. Friends are... The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money, my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. 
From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, August 27th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.50 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,287 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $517. Antiwar.com reports, the Gaza war came to an apparent halt yesterday with an open-ended ceasefire containing most of the same terms as a failed peace treaty being agreed to and likely taking the place of a formal truce. With Israel's cabinet so vehemently opposed to the truce, the ceasefire came as something of a surprise, especially to the cabinet, as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu agreed to the deal without any cabinet vote at all. Economy Minister Naftali Bennett, one of the most outspoken of the cabinet, Cabinet Hawks blasted the move, saying the cabinet was almost uniformly opposed to peace with the Gaza Strip and wants the war resumed immediately. Netanyahu insisted that he didn't need cabinet approval for a ceasefire. Where this goes from here remains to be seen, but Israel's coalition seems more divided than ever, with even many of Netanyahu's own Likud party complaining that agreeing to peace was a sign of weakness and that Israel should have continued the war at all costs. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to take Peace, Love, Liberty Radio on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty, while simultaneously continuing to create daily liberty media. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot radio.com. Reuters reports one of two candidates competing to succeed Afghan leader Hamid Karzai threatened on Tuesday to pull out of a UN-backed audit of a disputed presidential election, undermining a process meant to defuse a volatile standoff between the contenders. The investigation is part of a U.S.-brokered deal between presidential candidates Abdullah Abdullah and Ashraf Ghani, both of whom have claimed to have won the election that was hoped would usher in the country's first democratic transfer of power. The crisis over the outcome of the vote has raised the specter of another round of war in Afghanistan after the country was torn apart by years of fighting in the 1990s, which eventually led to the rise of the power of the Taliban. On Tuesday, Abdullah's team said the UN had until today to accept their demands to widen the criteria for identifying and discarding ballots deemed fraudulent from a June runoff vote. Abdullah's spokesman, Mujib Rahman Rahimi, said, if our demands are not taken into account, we will not recognize the legitimacy of the process. Rahimi said if the audit went ahead without accepting Abdullah's demands, his camp would not recognize any future government in Afghanistan as legitimate. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Antiwar.com reports tensions between Ukraine and Russia ratcheted up dramatically yesterday with the report of the Ukrainian government capturing 10 Russian soldiers along the border. The soldiers, according to a defense ministry statement, accidentally crossed the unmarked border. 